Neither. We were back in <laughs> All right. the uh, tavern after. Yes. Quick, restart the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So, on last week's episode of Dragon Ball Z, um, you all met Lord Bastion's underling at the Honeypot once again and told him you were in. And he um, gave you some armlets that basically um, Lorazis had cast detect magic on or identify on, I forget which one, um, and found out they were basically imbued with like a plane shift spell, but um, edited. And the way these armlets are meant to work is they are not able to be removed when you initially put them on, and then they are tied to a certain time, at which point they will activate and teleport you to where this underground fighting tryout thing is happening. And then once that happens, then you have a one-time only use to basically teleport yourself back to where you were when you were teleported there. So um, most of you were rightfully weary wary that um, it was not quite um, what you call it um, you weren't fans of the can't take it off when we put it on initially um, no, stage of the armlet wearing which very reasonable um reaction to that Excuse but me. you did agree um lord bastion's man also let you know that um lord bastion wasn't super pleased with the fact that um he was not able to get an answer from you on the first day and as punishment he had basically been sent to the south where lord bastion's son is hunting monsters um as part of the competition, and he is to basically provide whatever his son needs until Lord Bastion deems fit to call him back north. So um, he regretfully informed you that he would not be able to witness your triumph in the tryout. Um, I think we're picking back up the morning after, back in the library, you don't have to have put the armlets on yet, but um, I will say with the current timing, it is going to be the following day's evening is when they would activate. And so you have one full day and close to a full day um, before you're teleported to um, wherever this competition is happening. Uh, I don't have anything to do, so uh, as far as like my uh oh drugs, oh, <laughs> drugs. damn it! Drugs. Did you make? Drugs I reminded you, you. I reminded you. Tell me you did. You I reminded reminded me. You. I did not. I did not I'll make more up. drugs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we still only have. Fantasy marijuana and fantasy cocaine. Um, we need to right, in the middle, man. Travis did send me a list of like basically a D one hundred random chart of fantasy drugs. So in a pinch, I suppose I could find that and and roll one off of it to see what it lands on. But well, um, did you at least add my fantasy cocaine to my inventory? <laughs> No, I didn't oh, think so. Yeah, That's okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see them here. We're just gonna pretend that I've got my fantasy cocaine in my bag. Uh, what did we say? Do we? Do you have ten bumps? I have ten bumps. Okay. Spent a hundred gold on ten bumps. 
I mean, you know what they do. So if you just want to add some custom items to your inventory for now um, to keep track of how many bumps you have left, that's fine. And I will eventually get off my ass and add things to Shard. Um, Okay. Because I still haven't added um, the Spell Reflect Plate Mail or the Ring of Failures to Shard. So. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Philip, can we have one of the drugs from uh, Travis's campaign? Probably. You. Um, I one really want the spell slots the, one. The, the the which one? Sorry. You want the spell slots one? No. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but no. I want. I want. I want. I want actually, there's three. Okay, there's the one. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's the one of spell slot. The mushroom of spell slots that may make you vomit. Uh, so, Function is going to become an addict, is what you're saying? <laughs> yes. I'm a corpse, I can't do that. Um, right, she's well, already dead, so... The one that <laughs> does true. makes you fake death, which I'm, or, again, already a corpse, but... Eh. <laughs> but the one I specifically want is the mushroom that sends you to a different dimension slightly. Just the, for a minute. The blinking mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, slightly, yeah, just for a minute. Shit. Just a little bit. <laughs> It's just the tip. Just see if just have I, to see I if could it. probably get the blinking mushroom pretty easily. The thing that yeah. will keep me from getting Travis's drugs into my campaign is I'm not sure we're at the point where Travis is okay with me knowing exactly what his drugs do. Because oh. two of the ones you listed are like you roll a con save, the DM knows what happens, and it's just like so. Um, <laughs> so in order for me to bring that over, Travis me. would have to tell me. They definitely have side happens. effects, right? Yeah. yeah, no, the spell slot one. Um, I do know what it does, but because Travis told me, but I think it might be one of those things that he told me because he knew I'd forget. I also um, love Travis took my little bump made it into an item that Alar specifically would need and then also mm-hmm. made it a con save and I have to imagine would punish me for failing. So Yes, 100%. Um, very rude, if we're being honest. But yes, I will... I still have my notes. I technically, in my head, at least initially, um, have one point for the book Fenrir is reading. But... There are no drugs. There are. There's nothing else for anyone else's books. Oh, I yeah, apologize. I Fuck's sake, Philip. I can't believe you have a life outside of D and D, but also this specific D and D. It sucks. Like, game. Yeah. How dare you? I'd I'd give it up in a heartbeat. <laughs> Your job, not the D and D, right? Right. Well, probably not my job, but all the things that I do outside of my job and outside of D and D. The problem is, all the other things you do are cool things, like hang out with the wife who loves you. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> That'd be yeah, hard to true. give up. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, Wednesday I think is is my final softball game until the fall, and so I'll have a summer <laughs> free of Wednesdays to do D and D stuff. Oh. And while we're buying a think? house, Caitlin has said we will not be going out of town again, other than this weekend where we're going to Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. But um, so things are looking up for me to just stay put and actually do work. But mm. and I did do work and I feel up. bad because it's work that might not come up, whereas drugs would have been resolved immediately. Mm-hmm. If I had said, yeah, I added a bunch more drugs, you'd be like, where do we find these drugs? And then that is what we'd be talking about right now. But, um, anyways, and we can kind of resolve individual things as we want to, but and then go into what the larger group does during the majority of the day. What do we think we would like to do in this final day before your um, Vanguard of the Lion tryouts. Can I uh, still part of my soul for like our armor? Like, roll a d20. <laughs> I want to... You may roll a d20, Duchess, and... <laughs> Fenrir, I'm assuming you would also want to spend as much of your morning shield training. Shield training, and then re- reading up on that book. Okay. Um, give me a D4 roll and 
Four. You got a four on your D20. You no, I got a seven on my D20 and a four on my D4. Oh, you don't need the D4. Fenrir is the D4. Oh, okay. He's the he's trading shield. Which, ironically, is... I did get a four on my D4. <laughs> okay. So you do a full four hours of shield training today. Blue, you do a B and E. Yeah. <sighs> How much money do I get? And or what kind of valuables? Yeah, let okay. This <laughs> one we will let you do D four, so you rolled a four. Um Give me a stealth check. Who are you talking to? Blue. Oh, Duchess. okay. I was like, why yeah. would I need a stealth check for a book? <laughs> um, Hold on, counting. <laughs> Fenrir, for you, I would like a charisma saving throw with advantage. 28? Um, sleight of hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, Come on. okay. Um, that is a with aura of protection. Twenty four. Also gives me a plus. <laughs> uh, my modifier. Hold on. My charisma modifier. What is my? Plus three, so uh, that is a nineteen. Okay. Oh wait, advantage. I don't think I could top that, but yeah. Uh, blue, yeah. roll me forty-four, and Fenrir nineteen is the higher number. Yep. Um, the book is dry. Obviously, it's it's like a book of genealogies and kind of going into the details of. Um, specifically, it's on the larger kind of ruling families of Faraday. And so it's not all about the Horn Ravens, um, kind of largely about all the first families themselves, but then there's a good deal of information about the Horn Ravens, specifically in other chapters. And so, um, because you're a construct who requires neither food nor sleep, um, you are more resistant to the encyclopedic kind of reading of this book that is required. And so you do not fall asleep while reading it and you are able to glean some information and kind of the only real interesting tidbit from kind of the first little bit of the book you've read is all the first families uh, seem to um, are seem to be kind of blessed with longer life compared to other humans that you would maybe know, which um, the author lets you know is proof that the first families are currently blessed by the gods and that is why their life has been extended and this is why, you know, there's been a single ruling family since our liberation and while and why the other first families hold such high positions in the court because they have been blessed by the gods as evidenced by the fact that they live to be upwards of like 150 to almost 200 and they seem to basically not really age until they die and so that's probably the most interesting tidbit you get from I'd say, like, the introduction and kind of first few chapters of, of this book that you checked out from the library. And I haven't completed it, but that was just, like, the first Correct. Four chapters. Yeah. Okay. I, he would probably look for more information on the Horn Ravens. Okay. Is that... The one that the, I was... Yes, the Horn Ravens are the current ruling family. They are also a direct descendant of the hero, which is the, the statue that, that kind of caused a flashback for you. And so you, be, you believe that in a past life, you fought with 
a horn raven either current or one of his ancestors and so that is you're trying to specifically look more into their family for that information but um as you kind of just peruse through the beginning of the book that's kind of the information you get from that and then duchess i don't know if you heard me say uh for your b and e uh 44 is the final role that i ask for you i did not hear you say that i thought you were talking to the other one that's fair I just, i've been asking everyone to just roll dice i love people rolling dice roll your click clacks and your shiny rocks i did i got 10 you, um, it could have been better, honestly. Um, you're in the fourth district of the town where a lot of the more impressive housing is located because it's more in the reserved kind of real estate as opposed to what you consider like the merchant quarter that is the third level. Um, but you are able to, in and out, no one really noticing. Obviously, you weren't able to stay as long as you could have, but no one saw you come or go, but you made out with about 100 gold worth of random jewelry from a house on the fourth level of the city. You said 400? Uh, 100. Oh, 100, okay. Yeah. I love that Blue is just out here committing crimes. I, I'm i also a big fan of that. And I, I have decided <laughs> that um, with her random crime table, I'm also going to add like a notoriety aspect to see like if people start to realize like Blue is activating, like active in the city or not. Yeah, like I'm back and like I'm, I'm, like I'm around yeah. again. And so it's like it might result in like her being approached by someone for a specific job or stuff like that. So, um, yeah, right now, the two roles that Duchess has made, it's just been free money. But we'll see if that trend continues. I love it. And let me look at... What else I promised to everyone? Because obviously I didn't do drugs. Uh, we kind of went through the genealogy of the Horn Ravens a little bit. God damn it. Pass, Philip, you piece of shit. <laughs> Man, that's my entire college degree described in one fucking sentence. What does planes <laughs> mean? <laughs> I have to imagine it has to do oh with my, the... Oh my god, I remember last week, I remember you saying to yourself, I'm not going to have any <laughs> idea what this means. <laughs> Here we are. I, I, know, I know that Songshen's research, she is trying to find... Information, information about, her about her family, which is basically just her blindfolded throwing a dart at like a dartboard because she has I'm to. I'm just trying to look up my name. Uh, I need um, the plane ship. That's what I think planes applies to, but why did I need yeah, to make things for that? On this mortal plane. I love it. I love. I love that because I. I specifically remember you saying that this is not a good enough note. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like and. To be fair, like, I feel like I explained it last week that a lot of the kind of Forgotten Realm planes are just existing on the mortal realm. Like, there's basically three planes in this world, which is the mortal plane, the underworld, and then essentially the ethereal Mount Olympus where all the gods kind of have their separate domains in. And so, and there are connections to each plane. Like, you don't have to die to go to the underworld. Not only gods are allowed in Mount Olympus kind of thing. But, for the most part, things like the Fae Wild, Shadowfell, things that are separate planes in Forgotten Realms would just be places. Fun and exciting places, but places nonetheless 
on the mortal realm. And so I don't know what that note means. What else do I need to know about planes past me? Why did... And... JT, did, did you it? watch the snake video? I'm sorry, what? Did you watch the snake video? What snake video? I'm a snake. I'm a snake. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I did not watch the snake I, video. I okay. posted it in... Yeah, I, I, did not, so, I did not watch the snake video. We are one for five on my week-long to-do list. And one is generous because I really only thought of one thing to give Fenrir for the book he's reading. Really, it's like 0 0.4 out of 5. 0 0.3 out of 5. Okay, so Blue's committing crimes. Fenrir is continuing to make progress on his shield mastery journey. Corn and Songshen, is there anything else you would like to do individually before we kind of get together for a group thing? I want to sell my soul for a higher AC. <sighs> I think that's a reasonable request. Yeah. I think we could work on that. <laughs> I will not Wait, have... I, my soul is already sold. Yeah, I will not have an answer for you today, but ultimately, that would be something where you would ask Serena for, and she would probably have some task for you to complete, and then it would be a boon of... <sighs> that task completion so AC is 10 well give yourself some decks all right uh, my decks is zero <laughs> yeah that's why your ac is so low that's yeah. how it works oh i'll tell you <laughs> always <laughs> have good decks <laughs> i have two rules for all of my characters low strength high decks I mean, I love the low strength part. If I was going to have a second rule, it'd be high charisma, low intellect. Um, yeah, same. I, I'm i mid everywhere apart from my charisma. Is the from thing. now on, going forward in D&D, &D, my rule is high strength, high charisma. Fuck everything else. Yeah, I'm just, I'm all charisma all the Con's, time. Con's okay if you can get it. Mm. Oh yeah, con is a good thing to kind of have if you ever plan on getting hit. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just still so funny to me that I am putting so much effort into being as unhittable as possible because I know that at level 9, if Travis hits me with the things he's throwing at us, it's one shot. I just one shot you every time. Yeah. There's there's really no way around it where Alar's best chance is not getting hit, period. And then how, much, how much HP does Alar actually have, like, at full? I'm still in the 40s. I want to say 47 40s? or oh 49. I don't know what you want from me. I dumped Khan. Dude, I think I think Maliel has like 70, 80 fucking hit points. And you're That's like okay. 40, I am at 48. I am a level 9 bard rogue, and I have 48 hit points. Maliel has 75 hit points, and he's a fucking bard. Hey, if it makes you Just feel better, like mine's you 53. Are. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel better. It actually scares me to death that the what's, entire party is so what's, squishy. What's Maliel's deception? <laughs> What's Malio's deception, buddy? Buddy, I'm I got a college a, of. I got I'm a, a college plus of fourteen, bard, man. I got a plus fourteen. I'm a plus. I am a plus nine on deception. Because, Get wrecked. Because Get Malio wrecked. is scary, and I'm a plus thirteen for intimidation. Oh, uh, I don't need to intimidate My people. I'm yeah. I'm more of the I'm the silver tongue Cajun. You know, every every adventuring mm -hmm. party has one. Is it funny that Finrir in this campaign? Uh, is the one that has to talk because nobody wants <laughs> I just I love I love that the fucking literal faceless member of our party is the, the face, face. <laughs> like I could do it but nobody wants to talk to an actual corpse so. yeah I love it I love that Corin is like canonically like a very handsome like dude and he just like has no charisma yeah you just <laughs> you're very straightforward you're you're like He's... blunt to a point He's pretty to look at, but there's not a lot yeah. up there. You know what I mean? I love him so much. Also funny that I'm also... My dumb stat is wisdom, so I can't really see for shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. 
We all have a dump stat. Deception, survival, insight. You know, I, I will question. say, I don't think yeah. Duchess has a dump stat. I think Blue rolled so well, I think her lowest stat is like an 11. Um, so, so her dump stat's still like a plus zero. Uh, I mean, technically on core, and that's, that's true for me. Fun, my wisdom my is 11. Prisma are 11s. Okay. Yeah. Go well, it's hard to be charismatic when no one ever sees you. you so, yeah. we could and go I'll shopping. Fight. I will say the no, potion just, shop I... has temporarily closed down as they are going on vacation because Lorez and Corrin dropped multiple thousands of gold but. to buy out a good portion of their stock that is like the, yeah, we can have potions of haste even though not many people would buy it and then Corrin just walks in and goes, I want all of your potions of haste. <laughs> They're like, oh, shit. Listen, that stuff was invaluable <laughs> in the fucking tournament, okay? <laughs> I would have given you all my gold. So I, I will say, say the potion shop is temporarily closed, and the Dragon's Hoard is open, but he has not he restocked is his stuff. wares. Yeah, there Man, are... Man, you know what would be really good? If I could go buy drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you all buy the cape of the Mont Bank? Mont Bank? Like we did. How do you Wait, say on, that? Let me check my inventory because I can't remember who got it. Mont Bank. Mont Bank. Yeah. I did not get that. I, I think you the onk you just dropped Mont Bank. Mont Bank. Mont Bank. Yeah, I can't remember who got. I feel that like one. we should just not call it anything. But we did <laughs> the. The cloak I'm of. I'm gonna do the like the Arkansan thing called like a mountebank or some shit like that. <laughs> the cloak of dimension I'm door. Pensive. I'm pretty sure someone bought it. I do not have it. I would love that, but I. I, I would also love that. I am full up. Let me so. look at I, logs. I remember there's a couple of things that I wanted, and somebody else sucked it up. So I was just like, okay. We do have it, I think. Lorazes uh, might have it. Yeah. Placement, because I have check his butt. <laughs> check his butt. Is that what you just said? <laughs> Corin did not spend enough money for it. No, I wouldn't buy that anyway. Fenrir did not buy it. I think Duchess were still up in the air on how much money she actually had, so she probably didn't buy it. No, but I have the sanction. Razus doesn't have it in his inventory. Scroll of pedigree. What is that? That sounds like exactly the kind of shit he would carry, though. Is that, just, is that like, literally, like, his... Oh, yeah, that's that's part of the noble background. It is proof of your noble Of lineage. his noble line? Yeah. Oh, it's my like God, It's like the thing amazing. you get for, like, purebred dogs. Exactly. He's literally carrying around oh. his papers, his little, his little fucking blue papers. Oh, my What's God, what a name? nerd. What is Lorazis' show name? Surname? No. Uh, Manifold. No, his show... No, 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 no. his show name. Like, oh. And dog, you know, like... <sighs> Oh man! Oh, what was my? Oh my! my all my horses have show, have like. I think that had to be a Travis question. Oh, Technically, Travis dropped over ten grand last session, but I don't he know. He got a shitload of potions and stuff, though. A part of that also might be. I think Corin took a lot of it to put back into the community funds. Yes. So. I think technically, if we're going off of what is interesting in the Dragon's Horde, and I'll copy and paste this back into Discord, I think the hot ticket items are Bowl of Commanding Water Elemental, the Cloak of Dimension Door, and the Instant Fortress. Mm -hmm. And then there are still some Dragon Vessels available, and then he has some various knickknacks. Fantasy knickknacks, if you will. Old fantasy knickknacks. So favorite kind of knickknacks. Uh, what 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 did the Cape of Montblanc do again? It's Dimension Door. I don't know how often it's Dimension Door, but it is Dimension Door. Okay. Is it in? I'm assuming it's in shards. So I can look at it. I think so. Because that would be probably really useful. Bonk, bonk. Uh, I wrote clock. clock. That's not. Yeah, it's cape of the, of the Mont Bonk. 
I also think that ever smoking bottles are a fun item. They basically cast, I think, fog cloud, um, and it oh. kind of expands depending on how long you have the bottle unstopped, kind of thing. Drift globes, I think they're just uh, like a light source you can kind of hover up in front of you, where it's mm -hmm. either the light can trip. Or once a day, I think you can cast daylight with it. So, could be useful if you're ever going, like, underground or something. But, and then, rope of climbing, I feel like, is pretty self-explanatory. But, yeah, if you want to go shopping, we can go shopping. What is available, I post in Discord. I will yeah. say um, there's also um, basically a like community board on the third level of the city in, in like a city square where people can post um, various requests and such like that. If they're going, well, Philip, did you say these things were all out of stock? Sorry. If it says time zero, it's out of stock. Otherwise, Incredibly it is. Incredibly useful that the things I want are out of stock. Yes. Yep. If it makes you yeah. feel better, the things you want being out of stock means that someone in the party has it. Yeah, who has the cloak <laughs> of displacement? Uh, okay. Duchess has that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Duchess doesn't get hit anyway. She's always invisible. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah. now. And the one time she's not invisible, she'd like it to be harder for me to hit her anyway. Oh, <laughs> my AC is 10. <laughs> I'll buy it off you at a higher price. I don't even think my cloak of displacement ups my AC, does it? No, it no, just makes you harder to it hit. It, it basically casts hard. blur on you. Yeah. Blur or... yeah. Which is a thing that Songshen has. She's offering to overpay for an item that she herself can yeah, cast. Yeah, but I have to use She's like, yeah, but spell slot. Yeah, no, well, that too. No, 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 it's using, the, it's the action economy of it. Because Cloak of Displacement just does it automatically all the time anyway. Whereas to cast Blur, it's a fucking action. Does it, uh, Displacement, does it just impose disadvantage on people for attacks on you, or what? Yeah, I think so, it, it yeah. yeah. I, I did just read it, but it essentially, like, everybody gets this advantage when they go to hit you. Yeah. From okay. what I remember of Blur is if they do manage to hit you, they don't have disadvantage on their next turn. Yes. Mm. Or that might not be Blur, but it might be something else. But um, there are... But that's Blur. not important. If you uh, want to go shopping... If you want to go yeah. shopping, the inventory is currently listed in the Discord. Um, if you want something else to do, there is a community board on the third level. We'd be roughly around noon if you all wanted to be together because Fenrir is spending his entire morning um, shield training. So. If they're going to the uh, Dragon Sword, I'd probably go to the community board and wait there and look at this, what they have for the others. Because there's really nothing that I I can use out of all that. Yeah. Um, are there people going to the Dragon Sword? I mean, if they're going shopping, I, yeah. would, I would assume so. And I will, um, Fenrir, as you kind of post up next to the board, roll me a d8. But... Whatever you roll, on top of that, you also notice that there is a running leaderboard of the Blood Hunt. Um, and so you are able to see the score of people and who is currently leading the competition. And I posted that in. Not even, we're general. not even on. There. I can't help but notice we're not even on that list. Yeah, I know. <laughs> also, like, is Benjamin on his own? That's a good catch, Vic. He is on his own. Jesus Christ. I love that Blue Sky Covenant is a uh, one of them. <laughs> Mr. Blue Sky? Blue Sky? And they are all druids. 
as oh, requested. As requested, yes. So you said that's a D8, right? Yes. Uh, that's a seven? Let's see here. A seven. <laughs> oh, this, this is just funny. Um, Billy Bagwell is seeking investors to grow the Dragon Sword. Help your community and grow the Maw. <laughs> what, what is he asking for? Just um, that is not listed on the posting, but yes, he is, um, he is looking for investors in his... We're pretty much already... In yeah, aren't we already, like... <laughs> Oh my god, this is a fucking <laughs> nerve on this guy. At this point, yeah, you're definitely his favorite customer. I Whoops, what did I just do? <laughs> We're practically his patrons at this point, man. Uh, this is our favorite magic item shop. What the hell? I think, on the Citadel or otherwise. I think you'd have to compete with Dirk when it comes to patron status, but you're, you're getting there. I was about there. to say, Dirk's our, Dirk's yeah. our boy. Yeah, they're they're competing. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say between us and Dark, homeboy is living in it. Dark, dark, Dark the dork. <laughs> dark the dork. Ah, uh, fucking dark, got dark. him! Yeah, get, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> please don't tell. Please don't tell Dark I said that. Yeah. <laughs> fucking doink. I feel like he knows. He felt a disturbance in the force. He he's really coming. That, that rumbling you he hear knows. in the distance that's getting closer, he's coming. He knows. Uh, Is there anything else besides that on the board? <laughs> if if you stay at the board, I'll let you roll again. Um, I mean, if, I'm just if you at the board. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait for the others to, to get over sure. here. Sure. Give me. Yeah, give roll, me, roll again before I get angry. Give me two Stupid. more rolls. We'll say you're posted up. You can notice up to three pretty much immediately. Two more? Yeah. Okay, so the first one's a three. Okay. And the second... Dirk is seeking investors. <laughs> Dirk <laughs> seeking investors. <laughs> Bill, Billy's just posted just just nothing but all of his... <laughs> Be like, oh, what kind of work did you do, Philip? Well, I made a random encounter table where I just put the same thing on all eight <laughs> slots. Oh. Life hack. Follow me for more DM tips. Nice. Uh, what was your second number, Fenrir? Uh, it was the first one was a three, second one was a six. Okay. So, with the three, you notice another posting um, that says Knife in the Dark is requesting A to hunt a dangerous monster that has dug itself a septarian lair on the western plains two days outside the city. Find Corey Darkstep or Eris Swiftblade at the Zeppelin on the second level for inquiries. Eris Swiftblade, huh? Hey. <laughs> you kind of already have an in with her. Blade wasn't so swift, though, was it? <laughs> hey. It wasn't her blade that failed her. It was her, I am. It was her leg. Corin is the. She couldn't. is the sorest winner of all time. Like, she couldn't jump the here. distance she needed you to toss her. <laughs> Um, with a six, Gizmo Glimmerdust is seeking someone to hunt down his former partner, Yestis oh. Charmsilver, who abruptly left their business along with the schematics for their patented method of encasing a spell without loss of efficacy. So, uh, based on the names in the listing and the type of wording... Um, this is a gnomish tinker who specializes in crafting basically vessels that store spells. So, um, so like I know I don't, some people that I don't, actually very much like to use that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you know too much about it. I think at a minimum it's been told to you that like people have used like imbuing a ring with like the disguise self spell so they can put on a ring and change their appearance at will kind of thing and so Basically things, like a things that go <laughs> into this require a skilled crafter and also a skilled 
mage because you need to have both aspects of the um, total effect, which is the item that is being imbued and then also the spell in which someone is imbuing it with. So this job posting, someone had a falling out with his partner and he's trying to get um, his schematics returned to him because he's the he's the item half of these. You don't know what were it their, right what now. were their names? Um, the poster is Gizmo Glimmerdust, who is looking for his ex partner, Yestus Charm Silver, and I will type that in chat because I'm pretty sure I really fucked up Yestus's name. I would love to just beat the shit out of either one of these people. <laughs> okay, I spelled okay, that one right. Wonderful yeah, I spelled, I spelled that one right. I almost got the second one, too. Charm Damn Silver, it. I got that. The first one, no. <laughs> yeah, Charm Silver is just two words merged together into a single word. I mean, word. so is Glimmer Dust. Yeah. Yeah. But most Giz most D and D names are just that, right? Gizmo is a much easier first name to spell. G Gizmo sounds like something from League of Legends or anything else like that. <laughs> I will say, um, I'm a big proponent of AI being garbage and terrible. Mm -hmm. But I did like the fantasy name generator dot com, and the names are sp spitting out was just garbage. It was like, Gerg. Uh Grump and champion, and it's like I'm not gonna name someone that. And so I finally went to Chat GPT, and I was like, "No D and D gnome tinker names." And they were like, "Here you go. Here's a list of ten names." I also did I that with it, human and only nobles. Were shit. Yeah, honestly, most of them were were decent. If anything, I would switch out a few first names with last names. You know, do a little swippy swappy. Sure, but, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. So Gizmo is looking for Charm Silver. Correct. God. So we think Charm Silver is the the magic -y half of the two. Potentially. The... So the other thing, right, is well, I would just I don't even know what check that would be, so we're not going to do a roll. Um, I don't ask me for an insight check. You know, it, I thought it was a reading comprehension yeah, thing. It doesn't necessarily mean that Charm Silver is the magic side. It could. That is a very real possibility. Another real possibility is that both of them together make up the Tinker side, and then they have a separate um, kind of contract with the magic side of some mages come in and. Imbue gotcha. spells, and that whole collective eventually sells a product, and they kind of split the profits. So, I I don't think there's a role to give you a true answer, but the two possibilities are: Charm Silver is either the mage, and the two of them together make up the two halves, and they just run the full business, or Charm Silver is like a second partner in the Tinker Crafter half and without, you know, the schematics, Gizmo's kind of up a creek kind of thing. Gotcha. So those are the two options. Gotcha. I would probably take both of those, if I'm being honest. I <laughs> I would say you probably don't take them because, you know, they're, they're job postings people just kind of put on the board, but um, you can commit them to memory, and um, uh, you do know um, you have a location to meet either Corey or Eris. You don't have a location to make contact with Gizmo, but he's just like, my partner is a gnome, please find him and get my shit back. So... That one would require us to go to his workshop and find, you know, scout it out and investigate it. But possibly beat the shit out of somebody. Well, that possibly. <laughs> Gordon's like, I just want to punch someone. 
You always want to punch someone. You want to punch I my head. I really, like, go truly ahead. do. Really, truly just want to punch <laughs> just, something. Just punch my head off. It'll make you feel better. It won't, though. It makes that hollow noise when I hit it. It's really demoralizing. But it will come off and make it seem like... And then I'm going to have to bend over and pick your helmet up. What's the sound of the, you know, in Minecraft when you hit a tree with your bare hand? Crack. Shrieking? <laughs> yeah, that sound. I, I absolutely love that that is something Fenrir offers to people. Where it's like, do you want to it's punch like my head off? Like his cat. Right. Do you want to play with my cat? Do no, you think, I want to punch do you your think head it'll, off. Do you think it'll help if you if you punch my head off? It's like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this to you right now, but I just, I don't think it's enough this time. <laughs> All right. What is, what is wrong with you, Cord? <laughs> it usually works. <laughs> Time trucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who are you taking the drugs yet? Get off my back. <laughs> he doesn't even need the drugs yet. Yeah. They're for emergencies only. <laughs> emergencies only. When everyone else is going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be like, I want to get up in four hours. Does a little bump. I want to get a long rest. In four hours? Honestly, yeah. I think, uh, obviously we know what it how it works mechanically but i think in game you would sleep for like four hours and then wake up and instead of like hitting the snooze you do a bump and so you don't have to go back to sleep to get the final four right because it obviously wouldn't make sense to you to like do a bump of cocaine fall asleep for four hours <laughs> that's really good shit though <laughs> oh yeah you guys don't even know this cocaine it it wipes you out, but four hours later, oh, it kicks in real nice. <laughs> yeah, so I think that was the point. <laughs> yeah, so in game, you you take a nice little four hour nap and then do a little bump, and it wakes you up. Um, Fenrir just comes up to you, wake up. <laughs> Travis, are you here? Yes, he's here. Yeah. You did you buy the cloak of the of Dimension Door last week? Montabong. Mumbo. Mumbong. Um. Mumbo. It's not in your inventory. I checked. I did find your uh, breeders' papers though. Your breeders' papers. And I want to know papers? what your show dog name is. Oh God. What about my degree of pedigree? <laughs> yeah. Your breeders' papers. Let, let everybody know that you're purebred. Yeah. I would have been so confused by that question and Travis like, oh, are you talking about this? Yeah. Lorazus <laughs> only eats Purina. Everyone knows this. God. I am on a raw diet. If you even think I would touch Chow, <laughs> you're <a fucking laughs> mad man. Lorazus <laughs> is wet, wet food only. How dare you suggest <laughs> otherwise? <laughs> um... That's why his dad hates him. Do I you? think we were gonna. Weren't we getting it for somebody? Well, that's the thing, right? Like we can't figure we out who out, yeah. if we bought it, and if so, who it was supposed to get to. I didn't buy it. Okay, I was about to say I don't think I did either because I just I still don't think I have. Now yeah, it, I don't it is available, but I think I, yeah. I think we're running into the. The end result is it has not currently been purchased, so it will cost money to get it today. Yeah, right. I know someone wanted it, but I didn't need it. Right, yeah, I and I don't... I may have wanted it for like 10 minutes, and I also do not actually need it. Okay, all right. Are you I sure? Think, I feel like that's probably yeah, where we landed, that. right. is that Fig thought she wanted it, but doesn't really care. Yeah. And so we didn't. Because I also have... I have missed this step anyway, so... Right. Maybe okay. you could trade... Your cloak with Duchess's cloak. She will not. I offered to buy it, and she yeah. says no. I'm sure. I'm sure that the uh, the cape re requires mm -hmm. a tune. Now listen, right? Philip. It does. Well, yeah. I have oh, so many slots. I'm done. I know what you're about to ask. No, I did not make the drugs. No, 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 no. Nothing but drugs. Okay. What do you want? How much are empty vials? God damn it. Oh boy. <sighs> I don't like me. Uh, I love when you look at a link for a GIF and already know what the GIF is going to be. 
<laughs> Peanut butter, <It's> right? <laughs> you know how I wake up in the morning and I go, this dragon vessel is a greater healing potion. Mm-hmm. If I pour that into a vial... Oh my god. Oh no. It doesn't say that the liquid is no longer magical the next day. It just says you can choose to fill it up. I think technically it does say that. God damn it. You're, ma it. you're making me Google things. I don't Um, Because uh, like every day you can... A potion you create this way loses this magical property. Uh, it isn't a vice within 24 hours. Yeah. So, they, they theoretically, out. you could double up, right? Yeah, I could there, pour it, there, and then it has another day. There'd be that sliver of the Venn diagram where you could pour it into a vial, and then you would be able to make a new one in the vessel before the old one expired in the vial. I think. Yeah, and we can say sense. that's true, because who the fuck cares? But I think... I think two is the best you can do at a time. But it says a potion, so I could infinitely create olive oil. I mean, yeah. I might corner the cooking market then. Anyway, continue. Could do that. I mean, I think theoretically you could corner the cooking market. I'd... I'm not wrong. I need I'm you. Wrong. I need you to not make me build out <laughs> that kind of world building. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Do it. Am I priest? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Nappa's watching Nappa's watching me on stream just grab my head in my hands being like yes. uh, <laughs> Yeah, I do every time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just every time I see it it's just like <laughs> Yes. So I think theoretically you could have up to two potions within a 24-hour period if you timed it right. And it does feel like... Because you have a stirring, so you could have up to... Greater. Um, it feels like too much work for one more potion. Mead, ale, or olive oil on pretty much a new vial per day. Yeah. So, you, I mean, you could probably get drunk every day if you wanted to. Or have a second potion. I literally carry around a mini keg. We can do that anyway. <laughs> and I think, canonically, Lorazis is a lightweight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, know, I know that we've mostly seen him drink wine and liquor, which is more heavily concentrated, but I think, canonically, he is a lightweight. If I could get an Ascendant one, I could brew more whiskey. <laughs> Than like a bar could keep up with. I anything. I will say I absolutely love Dragon Vessel just throwing in like, yeah, you could have a supreme potion of healing, or you know if you're feeling like it, some whiskey. whiskey. You just like, gotta you just gotta get two of them. That's all. It's like I think I'm gonna take the potion of supreme healing. It's like okay, but it could have been really good whiskey. Yeah. Could have been a potion of climbing. Who knows. Ascendant, you get Potion of Dragon's Majesty, which literally turns you into a dragon, right? Um, yeah. It turns you into a dragon. An adult dragon. That would work for me. The fucking fuck? busted as shit. <laughs> for, yeah. an for an hour. For an hour, you turn into yep. an adult dragon. I was scared to throw a young dragon at y'all. into your form or falls into your to the ground your choice it just says you can't use its chain shape or its legendary or lair yeah. actions but like that's you, still its breath yeah. weapon it's like you probably don't have a lair because you're just a person drinking a potion in the middle of who knows where uh, but anyways to get back on topic uh the razzis if there's anything you would individually like to do at this point in time the party is around noon converging on Billy's shop. But if there's anything you would like to do in the morning individually, we can resolve that now. Um, 
I would like to see how much a, a sixth level spell scroll would be. That's how I, what I want to spend my time doing. I'm just looking at spell scrolls. His face every time he's asking. <laughs> He's just, he's just watching me Google shit. You're, you're just deadpan. Just yeah. deadpan. I, if so you want angry. specifics, I sent you a message. Okay. He just looks so angry. Oh, look at that one. I come an hour late and I was like, hey, let me ruin everyone's day. <laughs> I'll be back in one sec. Oh, no. So that's oh, the God. specific spell you're trying to get? Uh, That's the one I want, yeah. That or disintegrate. Oh God! I just want to know the price. Six level no. spells. No, he's entered his he's entered his Batman era, man. He's got his little <laughs> utility belt with the no parents. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> wish. Anyway, <laughs> in five e, a fourth level takes two weeks and costs twenty five hundred. So, how much would a sixth level cost? Please don't. Depending on who you talk to, I'll couple wish. that. Like, <laughs> I don't wish to die. <laughs> No one's gonna die. <laughs> Says you. Surprise. Is disintegration truly death? It can uh, be truly death, but it's not uh, always truly death. It, it for for Fenrir probably. Yeah. Especially Ooh. if you have like more in common with a coffee can than a human being. Probably. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Travis has me trolling fucking Reddit. Uh, yeah, that's your personal choice. Six to eight would be very rare, very rare. Five thousand one to fifty thousand gold. Let's say eight would be fifty thousand. That's forty five thousand gold divided by three. I think it'd be twenty thousand gold for a six level spell slot. Spell How much? scroll twenty K. Twenty K. I I got that. Fuck. Okay, then. Which I think is, I guess, the way I did random math right now is the cheapest in that <laughs> range. There we go. Range is the word I was looking for for those playing at home. Fenrir breathes a deep sigh of relief despite not actually having to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Obviously, Lorez is going to disintegrate Fenrir. Would he? You don't know. Like I said, it's his Batman era, man. He's got a That's contingency not even, plan. The the spell that I sent Philip is my contingency plan. Yeah. That's my oh shit, shit's happening plan. Now, That's my, the oh, no. funny thing, right, is... He really is becoming Batman. He's got because Fenrir is a construct. Disintegrate would just dissolve his armor. But yeah, he would be a amorphous blob is what I would assume. Yeah, is he would be kind of like... A, a yerk without a host kind of thing until he found a new set of yeah. armor. Does to that mean I could to. like put him in a bottle and carry him around? Oh. I think oh. he would just kind of hover invisibly next to you oh, I, I, until you found a suit of armor he could. Or put him in a bottle and carry him around. Yeah, we'll put him yeah. in, a, in a in a little oh. like lamp. And then just and that. then just pour the bottle into a suit of armor, make it look like that statue's drinking. <laughs> right. I don't think that works. Guys, just make a lantern out guys, of look at how funny all? this looks. <laughs> Do you shed light? Would this... you make a good lantern? I do not. It is literally I. W I am just basically air. As I think, I would literally right, have to make like constantly have been saying I am a, basically a fart in a box. Can you see a fart? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you should hope not, right? Oh, that would be bad if you could. It would be oh, some God. kind of check to see if Corrin knew whether or not he actually had Fenrir's soul in a bottle. I literally, yeah, I'm just literally carrying around an empty bottle. I think it's my friend. This like, could be Corrin. It could be nothing. But I tell you this: <laughs> Corrin, it could be nothing. <laughs> I choose to believe. Choose. Yeah, it turns out Fenrir's just been dead for weeks, and I've just been yeah. carrying around this empty bottle, and I was like, yeah, my buddy Fenrir here, I'm just. Wait to find the right piece of part or the right suit of armor. He turns into um, what's it called? Um, gaseous, gaseous form. form. 
So just, his speed's like 10 feet, and he just like slowly trying to keep up with y'all, but Corrin just walking away with an empty bottle. <laughs> Wait! That zero in wisdom's gonna kick my ass one of these days. Wait for can't me! Even, can't even hear me either. God. Okay. So Lorazis does some um, spell scroll window shopping. Duchess does some crime. You know, I did have one question for you about my crime thing, though. Oh, no. I, I feel like I might regret this, but go for it. You're totally gonna regret this. So, we were just talking about a whole notoriety thing, about whether or not they know I'm back in the city. Um, what if the people that I fed to my bag of holding? Oh, no. Like, would, wouldn't somebody have noticed that those people were gone? Like, in the lower levels kind of thing? Like, I understand that, like, you know, I probably went for the easiest people who weren't going to be missed, like, that quickly. But, like, in the whole crime thing, uh, if they so were... <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> yeah, we might... It is a cold and uncaring world. We might have know. to no get together on that one, but depending on where you're... Where you are and whom you're feeding... Um it would maybe not be that noticed, you know. If you're if you're in the first level where it's like low income housing and slums and stuff like that, unfortunately <laughs> it will be some time before those people are missed. If I'm you're good. if you're at the farmers market in the third level and you're just like randomly walking <laughs> up to nobles and devouring an arm, yeah, they'll probably let people know that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Who's actually let them like leave? If I get their arm, I'm getting the rest of them too. Right. I just love the idea of Dutch just walking up in plain sight and just whacking somebody over the head and feeding them to a bag. And he's just into the middle of the farmer's Just, just put them in the bag. And just. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys see that? No. What? 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 Two what, what silver for a pound of potatoes. <laughs> right. And you <laughs> tell Highway me robbery, what's the, bag. the worst crime? That or it's killing like a- that? <laughs> and it's like, what you got there, uh, kid? It's like, oh, sack of potatoes. I'm going to the stall over there to put it down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. They're carrying the body out of the farmer's market? Yeah. <laughs> I will say, slight spoilers. I currently have, like, the end game of Duchess's bag coming out in, like, levels three or four. Three oh, or no. four more levels. No. Depending on oh, how much murder God. Duchess does, I might have to move up the timeline. Oh no! <laughs> Where it's just like, yeah, I thought you'd be a level eleven, but you've killed three hundred people so far, and yeah, I think now's the time for this to happen. Can we just say that we gain XP every time she kills someone? <laughs> <laughs> No. This is Pokemon that, that is a, that's a slippery slope. I refuse to sled down. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna have Duchess already has a random crime table. I can't have her also being like I fed three people to my bag of holding. How much experience does the party get? And me being like, okay, yeah, you're level twelve now. <laughs> or some shit, and then all of a sudden you get that like Xbox achievement ping on your head. I do. I do specifically remember us discussing at one point last week about how uh, we really should have a free level coming up here pretty soon. Sounds mm-hmm. like, uh, you know. <laughs> you guys you guys Hold literally on. got was, a free level. I was joking. <laughs> Two of you joking. entered a tournament and the joking. whole party leveled up and you're was, asking me for a free level? I, what did I you do? Joking. I what was did, joking for mine. What did Fig do? Besides summon nine <laughs> shambling mounds over the course of two sessions. What did Fig do to earn a level up? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, the non the non competitors deserve the levels more than we do for sitting through all of that time. <laughs> that is a, that is fair. But that was your free level up. Everything else large Russian woman did great. shall be earned. I did, I did a fucking you know. accent for you. <laughs> Maybe that. All right, maybe all right settle down over there, Queen England. That's the reason we got that free level up. 
Man, yeah, if you guys level up this campaign, I'm gonna have to level up my campaign. To no, keep pace. you gotta stop it. It. I, it. I'm like seven wanna, sessions ahead of us. I want to be level at, ten so and bad. We're at higher level. You're already making me feel bad. Like I'm somehow doing something wrong. So, so Phil, back to my bag of holding for a hot second because you brought it up. Oh, um, boy. Or, I mean, I brought. <laughs> Um, I would just like you so, to know that I'm anxious about this current land of questioning, but continue. I'm so, I'm so, uh, my friendship with my bag, I have been working my ass off to be on a good relationship with this bag. I would call that accurate, yes. Definitely still going to eat And you. do I have a good relationship <laughs> with this kill bag? You, no matter what. I need to stick my hand in it, but... I will say... You have so far had, and I know we haven't role played this, but we'll say you've had at least a few short conversations with it. You've been Good. able to pull things out of your bag seemingly without issue. To your knowledge, nothing that you thought was in the bag is no longer in the bag. Considering I don't keep a lot of valuables yeah. in there, that is the so. Because I, I, as much as I'm aware and that, like, as much as I don't care that this is a bag of holding that can probably kill me, I'm also aware that if whatever I put in here, I have a chance of not getting back. Yeah. So. So, to answer your question, do you have a good relationship with the bag? To your knowledge, probably. Okay. But. <laughs> it's a uh -huh. bag. It's a bag it's a that bag. talks to you and eats it. things. So, yeah. what what is good my, in this situation? My end game is to be on good terms with this bag and have a friend that I can just carry with me. And if they want to leave, they can leave. Yeah. So, I will say you have at like least... Like I said, we just put Fenrir in a bottle. Problem yeah. solved. <laughs> put Fenrir in the <laughs> bottle. Put the bottle in the bag. Fenrir becomes a god. <laughs> Problem Wait, solved. Oh. Um, <laughs> up to this point, you have not had any negative effects from the bag. So I think good. I think Duchess in character thinks she has a good relationship with the bag. Good. Oh, I'm, crying. I'm, crying. I'm just done. <laughs> this bag. Honestly, that could have been way worse. If, if, it, if and when I I get remove curse, I'm going for that bag. <laughs> Not just hers, though, but... All, the all of the I bags. Like yes. I can't, I can't wait for Billy to have, like, a fantasy Costco and then realize that he inadvertently caused an apocalypse because Duchess fed fantasy this Costco. Eldritch industry. Um, but, I yeah. I can have removed curse right now. So... My bag. Do it then. If there's if there's nothing That's else good. anyone wants to accomplish individually, <laughs> um, our contract for everyone, <laughs> everyone kind of meets back up somewhere between noon and one p.m. And whether you're shopping at this point or doing your own thing as a group, that is up to y'all. But um, everyone accomplishes their little personal side quests in the morning. And as we go into our post-lunch um, part of the day, you all meet back up. Can I ha spend a really long time thinking really hard oh at my God, Serena about my AC being too low? Oh my God. <laughs> like, I don't want to directly pray because talking to her is weird. I would I like to talk to Fenrir. Think at her. Uh, nope. I guess religion from Songshen, and oh, then no. Lorazis, you can talk to Fenrir. I don't see why that Fen can't just happen. Fen Fen Six! <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on? Fenrir. Yeah, Six they have is a, a number. A mm. um, you can be eerily like a suit of armor. So, there for one minute. <laughs> yeah, I am um, speaking. <laughs> if we... If, if, let's say we get you to be like a suit of armor as a gift to somebody in a college and they leave you in a room, a storage room, perhaps, <laughs> full of scrolls. Um, would that oh, be God. something against uh, your morals? 
if you <laughs> procured some of those scrolls for, you know. Is there a scroll? single non goddamn thief in this party? <laughs> no. I haven't stolen anything. You stole my heart, Fig. <laughs> oh, I was going to make that joke myself, but I'm so glad you did it. <laughs> Um, Isn't it the other way around? Because, like, Alar's the one hitting on someone else now. I have, I have no problem in <laughs> taking things that will help us in our endeavors. Second of all, anyone with any sort of sense will be able to tell what I am. If they also cast detect magic. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I do like the idea that the thing Lorenzo thought he was going to have to get through was Fenrir's morals, and then he finally realized that it's actually someone <laughs> just <laughs> randomly putting a suit of armor into a closet full of spell scrolls without asking a single question. <laughs> He's like, oh, right. Wizards typically think about things. Yeah. Good talk, good talk. I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, I'm going to make some friends and case some joints and we'll be fine. <laughs> Step one is... Step one is confirming that Fenrir... We're, bra right. we're just no brainstorming. Problem. There's no wrong answers. Yeah, yeah. We're just there's, no, there's no wrong answers. There's Step no wrong one answers. is my party won't turn me into the authorities. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> Step two is... Finding someone gullible enough to get Finner in, and step three is yeah. Finner trying to sneak out with horrible dexterity. What's, your, what's your deception? <laughs> a truly hilarious. His deception's uh, probably not too terrible because that's a charisma is plus skill. Three. Yeah. Oh. Could so yeah, be you worse. can you Could can deceive worse. deceive people into I mean, pretending I, to be a suit of armor. I do get advantage uh, due to whenever I. Uh, remain still for a certain amount of time. So as long as you just keep hugging the wall every two to three minutes as people are walking in the hallways, you should Wasn't be... Wasn't this armor by this door? Rolls a three on perception. No, I'm pretty sure it's been there the whole time. Huh. <laughs> All right. Dude, what are you talking about? We're late for class. Let's go. Dude, the number of times I had people roll for perception and it's just like, three. Fuck. That's why I deliberately don't pay attention to things in game. In game, deliberately, in game. she yeah. says. Mm -hmm. Deliberately. My mm -hmm. passive perception is always yeah. higher than my Moss passive game. perception is stupid, and okay. I hate well, it. Actually, Big's like, like if I, I don't pay attention, attention Moss passive perception will get me out of this. <laughs> Doesn't say that I have to make a deception check. If that it just says while the armor remains motionless, it is in, indis indistinguishable from a normal suit of armor. Oh, it's just fact. You can't tell. Look at that. <laughs> do you remember the suit of armor being here? I don't know, dude, but more importantly, do you remember it being stuffed with spell scrolls? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Anyways, we're late for I class. Do like, I do love the idea of the scrolls just sticking out. Just of poking out of every grieve <laughs> in his armor. I mean, just put it, just stuff them all, all in my boots. <laughs> just fucking parchment just pouring out of Fenrir. I don't even need a lot. I only need like three or four specific ones, but there's one. There's one that like mm. you want the disintegrate, and I think I would leave that. <laughs> uh, disintegrate. You could even leave disintegrate if you're right. doing this for me. I don't need like, that. Like Fenrir's like picking them up, reading them, putting them in. He's like, nope. I mean, <laughs> disintegrate I puts I aside can read all writing. Any writing I can read. Uh, that really? Is, I will yeah, say, dude, speaking of spell scrolls. Anger. And I don't actually have a shop because last time we were just kind of vibing. But there is a magic shop right outside of the Mage's College. I can also read and write all languages except for Thieves Camp. <laughs> Good. That's I so funny. I do not understand to speak them, but I've seen right. them and can read and write them in books. He can translate like, like a instance. son of a bitch, but he just can't. Yeah. He can't hold I have a conversation. Eyes of Keeper, which allows me to read all writing, including Hell yeah, Thieves Camp and everything else. Super good. Man, if only you'd chosen hearing and speaking, <laughs> you and Fenrir would be two, two peas in a pod. Yeah. We're both like, we can read that. Yeah. And then it's like, like, it's like that joke about between me and infernal, my brother, we know everything, nothing. you know? Yeah. It's like OBS is having some We know the same thing. Um, to be fair. 
Another uh, thing, Lorazis, since you were late, um, things that we covered. The potion shop is currently shut down or closed as the owners have gone on vacation using the thousands of gold that y'all spent on it the day before. Did we, we, we told Billy Bagwell to like, hey, you're going to buy that shop, right? Billy... Yeah. Um, is still open, has a reduced stock, has not had ch- a chance to restock yet. Um, but Fenrir, um, while everyone was doing their own thing, um, after doing his shield training, went to the city square and read a few posting on the job board. You will find the leaderboard for the um, monster hunt in Discord. And then he also... Found out that Billy is looking for investors to expand the Dragon's Horde. Um, Knife in the Dark, which is a adventuring group, um, is looking for some help in tracking down and killing a monster that has dug itself a subterranean lair two days outside the city on the western plains. Oh, wait. They're looking for help to kill it? Yeah. Oh, I totally heard that wrong the first time. Okay, cool. And then the I'm last one kill a subterranean, whatever, is somewhere. there is a gnome named Gizmo Glimmerdust who is looking for help in tracking down his former partner, Yestus Charmsilver, who broke their partnership and stole the schematics for their patented... Um, method of encasing spells within an item. So those are the things you missed while you were working or whatever. Whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't know about that. I feel like you want to blow up your own spot like that, dude. I <laughs> will say, and granted, a lot of my job is very easy, but I spent hours troubleshooting something that wasn't working, and it was because within the double quotes, I needed to add single quotes. That's it. That's the only thing I needed to do in order to get my shit to work. And I hate that. I hate it so much. Yeah. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. So, we are... We are post lunch. Everyone is grouped back together. What would y'all like to do? This is your kind of last day of bullshitting before your armlets activate and transport you to your little tryout. Speaking purely for Corn, I am ready to just go to that. But whatever you guys want to do, Corn is down to to chill. So. God That's... isn't gonna fix my AC, so I'm done. Oh, and by done, I mean ready. Yeah, God needs at least a week to f- <laughs> fix functions. God AC. needs at least a week. <laughs> God needs... No, you need. <laughs> In game time, it might only be a couple of days, but. Uh... Yeah. God needs to fix your problems. <laughs> the hand that moves back. the chess piece that we call God needs a week. Not God. And it might be longer because this hand is going to Nashville for a Taylor Swift concert over the weekend, which is when I usually do my God stuff. <laughs> so, Here's my liaison. L I A S I O N. L I A I S O N. God damn it. But yeah, that was close enough that my other attempts were not. Ooh. I, My favorite is when you get it so bad that like I don't know what the fuck you're trying to yeah, do. Yeah, it was so bad. That it was I don't like, want to get us off topic yeah. again, but yeah, that that hurts when you spell it so wrong that autocorrect is like, no, I, I got nothing. I have Bro, no fucking, I, I have no <laughs> fucking idea what you want from me, and I'm like, oh man, I'm so <laughs> off. I'm so off. I can't be more off than I'm off right now. Oh, you could always get worse. But you wouldn't know you got worse because there's a floor and that floor is autocorrect shrugging. I mean, it it could always be worse. Have you seen how the British spell things? Oh, no. Oh, stop bullying me. Just putting <laughs> U's you everywhere. So 
Kalur. I'm not part of you. Hey. I'm not part of bullying. Uh. No, you're fine. Everybody else here is a fucking dick. Uh, well, actually, no, Blue is also fine. <laughs> I was going to say, Blue doesn't do anything either. Which also... Yeah. So just everyone who's in who's multiple campaigns with Fig are, are the bullies. Yeah, and also the ones that I have either met in person, I'm going to meet in person, or I'm going to be staying with for a month and a half. I know where you Look, see Look, we went Travis. to Dollywood together, and that's a bond that can never be broken. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm have to kick try you guys so much. Hey, you, hey yeah. <laughs> Fucking kick. But, uh, yes. If, if we want to skip to the next day, obviously anything y'all want to accomplish individually... Fenrir, you can do more shield training. Duchess, you can do more crime. Um, I can do more crime. crying. We can, crime. We can resolve those in the morning and then skip to where your armlets activate. Um, yeah, I'll do more uh, shield training, but I also, during the night, um, would like to just read the book. You know, you know I don't have more of the book. You know I don't. I don't have that. <laughs> God needs a week. God, I, God I have a needs question. two weeks. Yeah. God needs several uh, hours. Um, that's a cool question. My my God hates another God, right? Yes. It's, it's very specific. Hey, what happens Ooh, if I ask that? God this is that? fun. Um, I will let you roll either religion or history for this one. Okay. I don't want to actually ask that god. I'm just hinting that, like, what would happen if I did? Just, oh, fuck, my religion and history. Roll. The fucking... 11. I'm going to get smoted. Roll. I'm going to get smoted. 11's not great. Um, I feel like every I... time Philip you... gets a message from me, he breaks a little bit. A little bit. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm what's so Travis cool. sending me? And it's just... What's Chase sending me? <laughs> I, I just I already rolled it, so you don't have to. <laughs> I got a three, so it's uh, twenty three hours. There you go. All right, <laughs> this is bullying. <laughs> hey, I was just updating it, man. I was just updating. stop sending me things that I should be aware of. Travis is like, <laughs> Philip, I have I ten players. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm. <laughs> I'm very polite. Let it be known. <laughs> when I asked, like, what you request from the queen, I literally couldn't function for, like, 20 minutes. It was um, just like, oh, Jesus Christ. Just from everyone every... messaging you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been told I need to stop shouting because Caitlin's about to go to sleep. Um, yes. So, my brain is not functioning, but... Travis, I will let you, I'll allow you to send that letter. And then I'll figure out in the future what his response would be. I was going to ask if it was a good idea, but the worst case scenario is he could be like, son, stop being stupid. Awesome. Best case scenario, I get to get an, get an in with the shop that we're definitely going to spend more money on. <laughs> Did you just send a letter to your dad asking him to invest in the dragon sword? Maybe. <laughs> Daddy, will you please invest in my favorite shop? I worded it slightly more professionally than that. Ah. Oh. Well, I really, I. What was that? Do you know how, what? What was that? <laughs> no. I was gonna say, you know no. how uh, show dogs and like cats and stuff have like dumb fancy name, dumb fancy names. Yes. I can't think of, a, think of any examples. Like my aunt and uncle used to show cats, and they had the dumbest fucking names. I want Larazas to have a dumb show name. <laughs> like his everyday name is Larazas, but he has like a Sir Wilmington the Thirteenth type thing. I almost put Dear Peleus, but oh, <laughs> I put Dear Father. Dear Dad. Daddy. I will be right back. 
Um, I think I have what Fenrir did the following morning. Um, Duchess, if you want to do crime, you can do crime. Anyone else, think about what you would like to do for your day leading up to the evening festivities. I would definitely like to do more crime. Yeah, I, I got those a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just like, hey, have you even slept yet? <laughs> yeah, that is a good question. Have you slept at all? Me? No, JT. No, JT. Yeah, I took a I took a nice two hour power nap. Uh, well, ho- hopefully you get some sleep tonight. Nope. <sighs> I'll take a I'll take a two hour nap after D and over, and then I'll play games all night. So oh. yeah, wish I could do that. That's a reasonable thing to do. Take a ten minute power nap at your desk, because that's what I do, and that shit fucks me up. Okay, see, oh, uh, no, I have I have insomnia, so there's no such thing as a ten minute power nap. Uh... It's either no sleep. Or I'm dead to the world for the... Th- no, I wish. I I am literally physically incapable of sleeping more than three hours at a time. Uh, like, so I, I sleep for like three hours, and then I'll wake up for a little bit, and then I'll go back to sleep for three hours. Mm-hmm. But it's like, that's it. <laughs> so, it's fine. That but there's no, there's, yeah, no ten, there's no 10 minute power nap for me. It's either like dead for three hours or no sleep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Is it? Yeah, no, it's it's awful. <laughs> somebody there, somebody the other day was like, uh, "Do you think that's like uh, bad for you?" I'm like, "Yeah, almost certainly." <laughs> but, it's not a good thing. What the fuck yeah, am I I'm gonna not do enjoying about it? it? At least, yeah, it's not great. I don't love it. He's not alas. Ba, ba, ba. It love probably it. won't kill you, unless it gets really bad. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, given my family history and my family medical history, I'm going to die of heart disease anyway. So the fact that it's bad for my heart really doesn't bother me that much. Mm-hmm. I, Do might just die. These things. <laughs> I might just die a little sooner. It's no I thought you were going to say, I'm going to die any day now. Oh, I mean, 100% <laughs> possible, but oh. whatever, you know. Don't, don't, don't. No, I mean, don't. we got I gotta no, we gotta get higher level of the campaign for that happen. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to wait until we meet in person. I think that's only a couple months from now, okay? Like <laughs> Well, that's all that's I not... require. Like, I don't know what the fuck else you want from me. Well, I don't either. Okay, okay. Make it to my next birthday because I'm staying until after that. Okay, fine. You can You're coming. My birthday. Are you moving here or are you coming to I... visit again? <laughs> Uh, I the plan is at some point to move, but at the moment I have my next two visits planned. Ka- uh, yeah, kind of for legal purposes, she's just visiting. I am. I the thing is, if I stay too long, the government gets angry at me, and then I can't move there. It gets angry. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. Oh, Uncle Sam. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking kill me. We'll we'll poke him with a stick. <laughs> Oh, he's angry! <laughs> I, I upset the TSA enough the last time I came over. I don't need to do it again. Why? Yeah, are, are we doing the thing where everyone Existing. comes to Tennessee like June 23rd? Why? why? Very specific. It is very specific. That's when the Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering set comes out, and I want to take uh... everyone to pre-released. I mean, yeah, that's not, gonna, that's not going to work for me. I'm going to have to make it... It's going to have to be July when I... Uh, darn when I come. I mean, if it was uh, between June 4th to what, what is that calendar? Hold on. June 4th to the 10th? Sure! Because <laughs> hopefully that's when I'm on, I'm on vacation. I think I'm there June 15th to the 3rd of August. I mean, if y'all if y'all want to come down to Georgia, any yeah. weekend is fine with me. But um, potentially in July, I might have my own house, which might actually be the worst thing because it means there will be zero furniture. I'm currently living in my brother's fully furnished house, and so we have like an actual guest room with a bed. And then if I own a house, 
there will be a couch and an air mattress. Man, getting ready to move is just the worst fucking thing in the world. I was going to say, Philip, I spent three months on a couch, like, end of last year. I, I'm fine with that. And let it be known, some couches are actually more comfortable than beds. I will say, my bed it's, is incredibly uncomfortable. It's a good couch for a nap. I'll give it that. <laughs> I've never tried sleep sleeping on it, but for a nap, it's a real good couch. Also, you're telling me that all of us aren't going to go over there? Go to the nearest thrift store and just furnish your house. If you want to do that, I'll allow it. Also, <laughs> I could maybe get, because right now it's me, my two brothers, and two of my sisters, all in Atlanta. I could find a soft pad for someone to sleep on within a 30-minute radius. <laughs> But, um, anyways, back to D&D. D &D. It's D&D. Wow. I almost misspelled incorrect incorrectly. Would you like to know times. what crime I'm doing? I would love to know what crime you're doing, Duchess. Oh, no. You rolled a 12. Oh, no. I really need to copy and paste that table you sent me. So that just I can post it in journal because we would also put, her, like to see. put it on her character <laughs> sheet at this point. Do it. A twelve <laughs> extortion. Yay! Put it, put it in journal oh, and in it so we can all just look and see what crime she's doing. I don't even yeah. know if I know enough about extortion to know what Duchess would gain from this. <laughs> um. Well, information. Blackmail. Like, yeah, <laughs> back all of the above. Also, the most important thing she'd gain. It's fun. Yeah. yeah like, you don't have to tell me what info. I just, just know that I'm probably getting blackmailed. <laughs> or, like, like, the other places around the city. Like, my old contacts. or. There's a lot of murder on this list, Blue. There's a decent amount of murder. I think I called it out that first degree murder being a 15 seemed weird. Voluntary manslaughter. Huh? Is that when they ask you to kill them? Second degree murder? First degree murder? There's so many murder. ID theft. <laughs> Why is ID theft a 17? Also, I, re I really enjoy the tax evasion is one of them. <laughs> I've already been doing, doing that. Doing that. I, 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 I honestly hope Lou rolls a 9 sometimes so I can be like, nothing happens, maybe? <laughs> I'm like, already. One day, like I'm not paying taxes today. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> she, she, she immediately doesn't pay taxes, but the the IRS equivalent immediately. Oh, they fucking arrive. Yeah. So, that's, that's the one with, that's for the that's I'm now in the army. They now know. Um, for the I record, no, I exist. Duchess, so, like, one thousand percent doesn't pay taxes on I don't. income, and I will as passionately scare quote income as I can ah. <laughs> tax evasion wait, wait, somehow wait, Duchess would I... have to like acquire assets that she doesn't disclose I, I need to um, know if I can use Marcus's income Jesus. I just use his tax I use him tax evade my shit I guess if you roll identity theft, maybe I'll give you some info on Marcus's income. But you don't really know how much he makes as a captain in the army. I don't, but God. Not a lot. <laughs> you know, I did look at the difference between uh, volu uh, voluntary manslaughter and um, second degree murder. And you, I hope you <laughs> pulled this up on incognito mode. <laughs> No, I you, did. You just put 5e well, e at the end of everything. Up a list of crimes, and then I just pulled from that list of crimes. No, I was talking to I was talking to JT. Hell no, I ain't scared of the fans. Fuck them, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, uh. oh, just that entire list. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm glad I can make people amused. First one that I, <laughs> I 
I love <laughs> is the tax evasion. <laughs> um. All right. So we're doing extortion. What? Let's do an intimidation roll. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> do you need someone to help you with this? <laughs> no. I don't. I feel like Corin would love the <laughs> intimidation tactic. I am now proficient in intimidation, so yes. Oh, I it's a great roll for me. 18. Oh, you're proficient in intimidation? What is your plus now? That's a good question. Phil, uh, Phil 18. I think it's going to be like four. 18. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. Also, on the matter of tax evasion, I feel like that could also apply to I see the tax man coming and I evade him physically. <laughs> Come on, Shard. Load. So, Plus yeah, four. <laughs> okay, so you're catching up. Man, fuck you, Mr. Charisma. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> At least you can see things. <laughs> I mean, not well, brother. My fucking wisdom is a zero. Right. You got yeah. better than me. I got a negative one. What do you mean? Bender. <laughs> What? On uh, involuntary or voluntary manslaughter for on my, on my list. That's just I just straight up kill somebody. The second you just feed them to the bag. They're like having a drink with them, uh, and then they just say something. I'm like, you motherfucker, and then kill them. You kill them and just feed them to the bag. There you go. <laughs> well, because second degree murder is a crime of passion. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was if you kill somebody but accidentally. No, what? that's involuntary. That's manslaughter. Yeah, oh. that's involuntary. That's, that's, that, that's totally fine. That's like a hey, misdemeanor. Most I, don't I don't think really that's fine, but... <laughs> that was a joke. For legal purposes, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was fixing to say. I was like, whoa. So, with an 18, I will say you don't just get to choose exactly what you accomplish, but it's a good roll. So, I'll... Whomst... Just ballpark, what kind of person are you extorting and for what? And we'll resolve it that way. One of my informants, or actually, mm, never mind, not one of my informants, another fucking runner, because I'm like, hey, what the fuck is the uh, guild situation looking like for us runners right now? And if they get squirrely about it, because like, that's what you do when you're a runner, you get squirrely about whatever fucking information you're given. Okay. I, I just want to know basically what the fuck is going down in the city while I've been gone. I will absolutely let that happen. Um, and calling extortion feels more severe than it probably is. You are remaking contact with a person that... Aggressively. Yeah, you've probably run into before because while you were no longer a runner, you still had contacts with people who were. Um, I don't know who knows I'm back, basically. Like, who who knows I'm back and what the fuck is going down in my city? I would say at this point in time, no one really knows you're back. Um... At least from extorting the kind of person you're extorting, no one knows you're back. Now, granted, the heads of the guilds may have more knowledge into the who comes and who goes into the city than multiple levels up, right? So it's like you're still getting good information from a runner, but that doesn't mean that just because he says no one knows you're back doesn't mean that like the literal head of the guild might not know. And obviously, at this point, you're fully aware that the library is a front for a thieves' guild. And oh. Matthias knows you're back in town, and he knows who you are. So, I will yeah, say, okay. from a runner <laughs> level, and as far as he knows, there's no chatter about Duchess coming back to town. Oh, good. So... I, I will give you, Blue, knowledge that if anyone knows you're back and operating at this point in time, 
it is at like the highest level in the guild. Like people who specifically are looking out for this specific thing to happen and they're getting reported back to. Or Matthias is reaching out to specific individuals and letting them know. Like it is not it it's not even like a step below. Okay. Um basically heads of guilds who would know you're back. Because that's kind of like information trickles down, right? And so the the runners would hear chatter, and if they're not hearing chatter, it means that there's not rumors being given from levels above that, which means that actual information is not being given to them. So if anyone knows you're back in town, it's the highest level up. Right. So realistically, the actual extortion here is her convincing this runner not to say a fucking word about what she just asked. Yep. Right. <laughs> what happens? Speaking of extortion, Fig, are you rolling? Nope. Howard. I'm working on it. I just. I just want my AC to be higher. Oh my god. Just continue to stand nowhere near me and Finra and you'll be fine. I, no, told, I want numbers go big. I told Fig that if she could tell me right now who Fantasy Jesus is in my campaign, I'd give her an AC of 18. And she <laughs> initially guessed wrong. And she's currently working on her second attempt. I'm if your first guess wasn't Lorazis, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I guess my brother because he came back after three days. I don't know. Oh. Listen, listen, Which listen, makes sense. listen. Do you want to have a teen AC like, like next level up? No, I want it now. I also don't want to be that guy, but oh. he came back like fifteen minutes after he died. Well, maybe then he's better. Man, than you you're so dramatic. He he was dead for 15 minutes before you were making deals with Satan. I, no, 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 no. I he was dead, and then I immediately made a deal, and then he immediately came back. Is my AC 18 now? But it is not. Fuck. <laughs> but you were closer. I will Dang. say, um, the fantasy Jesus is a god in the pantheon, and your second guess was an actual pantheon god. And for that, I'm impressed. <laughs> you get no points. Maybe don't be impressed with me, though. <laughs> I didn't do the work. Would you? Would you like to know the answer? And would no, you? I've, and are you prepared no, to be really it. angry at me? No. Hold on, Nick. I will. Uh, I will explain to you how to get 18 AC. With like a couple thousand gold right now, if you can tell me who's the most dangerous member of my campaign. Oh, uh, Philip, because if he breaks up with you, you will kill yourself. Wrong. <laughs> I thought you were talking about That also Mom means I get the opportunity to kill Alar. So no, that's it'll be great. So here's here's the thing, and you know what? If Travis gets this right, I'll give you an AC of eleven. Which is the consolationist of consolation prizes. But, you. Travis, what's the most consistent thing about me? Oh, about about you? About no. me as a person. Throughout all the D&D campaigns I'm a part of, what's the most Parental consistent Parental issues. Thing? Daddy issues. Okay, that's on me. That's fair. I was oh, going to say, yeah, I plagiarize from myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not the most consistent, but it does happen a lot. But the most consistent yeah, no, thing, consistent. all the I will say, all the characters I have given Travis, with the exception <laughs> of of Asir. Bullshit! Have, when was the last time Asir seen his mother? She's busy. <laughs> <laughs> she's a priestess of Artemis, and I am stationed. I don't have time. I understand the unwavering confidence and the pressure to perform well because of who your parents are is also crushing and a different type of issue than having actual problems with them. <laughs> well, this is getting us nowhere. 
<laughs> I, love that I'm, I, I love that I'm in three D and D campaigns, and I'm not going to get to kill anything this week. <laughs> um, so I can do this. Duchess did crime. Fenrir did shield training. No one else accomplished anything. I Are may we... have checked your messages. I checked my messages. You're still wrong, Fig. Fuck you. Okay. I checked him. You're Sorry. still wrong. You've accomplished nothing. <laughs> that was implied, but yeah. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So everyone is okay with time skipping till tomorrow evening. Everyone has um, donned their teleportation armlets and are it's now... Low, by the way. Ex- which is fair. That's the smartest thing I think has happened in a while. Everyone being like, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that we can't take them off until it teleports us. Mm-hmm. Those are good instincts. I'm proud of all of you for that. I mean, I enjoy the fashion, but like... Eh. I'm feeling very feeling very Geralt right now. I don't trust this. Yours would have teleport. slapped it on and then 10 minutes after slapping it on been like, what's this do? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really listening when they explained this. Yeah, what, what do you, what's this about? What do you mean this makes it harder for me to do things? Um, as as you all um, kind of, you know, roughly 6 p.m. rolls around and your armlet glows. And then all of a sudden, wherever you are, maybe you're just in the city. Maybe you're enjoying a pint. Maybe you're back in the library because you don't want to cause a scene by just randomly disappearing. Wherever you are... You are teleported to this area that I think I can confidently say no one recognizes. And there's this kind of built fortress. And you see people fighting various kind of flying enemies on the wall. And you, you see this one guy with a great sword kind of cleaving a gargoyle in two. And oh, eventually, yeah. like, everything kind of settles. And you do recognize him. This was Callus, who probably did the most good against Corin in round two. The maze round, where he almost just completely fucked Connor uh, before running off to try to play defense. Um, and you also recognize Devnia, who was on Corin's team. And then there are a couple, there's like a dwarf rifleman you don't recognize, and there's also kind of this elvish um, lady with dual-wielding daggers, and you see Devnia kind of glows radiantly as she kind of brings them back up, and then the, um, the last kind of monster falls, and you, you know, you hear everyone kind of erupt in... Um, clapping and um, applause and all that good jazz. And as you kind of teleport into the end of the previous tryout, um, you do see this um, probably tall compared to quite a few people. Lorazis, you probably still tower over him. Um, Corin, you're maybe right at where he is. He's just kind of this tall, slender man dressed in very rich opulent kind of um not robes but very well trimmed kind of tunic and pant set and he sees you all appear and it's the five of you and along with you is um alar wind river from before um so it's the six of you all kind of appear together fuck that guy and the he owes me money i would like to cast fireball (laughs) (laughs) like your chicken strip yeah and so the the noble dressed man approaches you and he's like oh yes the uh the motley few and the the wind river sun um welcome to tonight's festivities um Obviously, you just caught the end of this last match. Um, we have quite a few fun things planned for our contestants this evening. Um, I hope that Anton wasn't too... Um, 
uh, what's the word? Gutchy. You know, when, when people shit? are just like too excited to be around you, he's he's annoyingly reverent, right? And he was a big fan of you, and so of course, as a it's a personal favor, I decided to reach out an invitation to you all. Um and the fact that one of you won the entire tourney obviously is uh a big get, but um, yes, welcome to tonight. Um, we are all looking forward to how you perform today, and uh, if all goes well, perhaps you too will join the ranks of the Lion's Vanguard. And um, you, you kind of see. Callus and Devnia and the two you don't recognize kind of walk off and um, the announcements are finished made of how um, you know oh what a what a great sight it was to see you know and you can see like the corpses of like wyverns on the ground and gargoyles and and other flying creatures that had been stopped at the at the wall of this fortress and like as you see them they kind of walk off and like Callus recognizes Korn, he gives him, like, a slight nod, and then he, like, twists the armlet, and, um, you see he disappears, and then Devnia disappears, and the two others disappear, and then you also see this fortress, which was fully constructed, um, kind of changed before your eyes, and it becomes kind of this, um, ruined mess, and this kind of white wispy fog starts to kind of grow out from the ground and it's about ankle deep now and who I'm assuming everyone knows at this point is Lord Bastion turns to you all and goes so how we have managed to stay undisturbed for so long is our mages along with some very skilled craftsmen create this omelet that is around your arm he lifts his sleeve and you see one glowing on his arm as well um they've managed to tweak the plane shift spell in such a way that we are able to access the same plane we live on but in a uh, different period of time so just a little bit of chronomancy with an already established spell and we're able to accomplish this and he turns to you again. He goes, Unfortunately, the time period we're in the fortress has seen better days, but um, this is right around the time of the War of Liberation, where a company of our free folk came upon this fortress down from the north. Uh, supported by the dwarven military and they took this fort against a dragon and his men putting up a valiant last stand and tonight we hope to relive that encounter and he kind of claps his hands and you see this robed figure dressed all in black raise his hands and this kind of green light um, glows around him and you start to see things kind of um, appear um, kind of raised back up out of the ground and he goes so obviously we had to pick a point in time where they were not alive because we have to have an ability to control them but not quite so past their moment of demise that they would be nothing but bones. And you do see these kind of like dragonborn kind of, you know, zombies appear, like not skeletons, and they mostly appear to still have their main faculties except for the fact that they're clearly undead. And then behind them is the um, this very large dragon. Oh, fuck and, yeah. And let's okay. add everyone to the map. <laughs> That's a real fucky dragon, Philip. Huddle characters. There we go. What about dragon? That's, the dragon? That's a baby. Up. It's everyone fine. Everyone is there. 
Um, That's a so baby, this motherfucker just said. It's, it's still made of shapes, though. Everyone, everyone is allowed to position themselves however they want. It also looks like... Noted. Uh, the... <laughs> Well, for legal reasons, that was a joke. <laughs> Gordon, I'm sticking with you. And, Solid and plan, you hear, I'll stick with you. like, as all of these kind of creatures raise up out of the ground, and the fog continues to kind of thicken and raise up, it's it's still, like, low. It's probably about calf height Ooh. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and Lord Bashan continues talking, and he goes... Rogar was a very strong general in the Dragon's Army. When we decided to win back our freedom, he, his demise let them know that they were in trouble. This shifted the morale of both armies when he fell. And tonight we hope to relive some of that glory. And I realize now, I said, position yourself however you want, outside of the fortress. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm outside the fortress. More like, yeah, more, like a, the <laughs> more like a marching order. So if you didn't all want to be grouped up in a single five foot square, I was going to allow that. But I really appreciated your initiative, though, <laughs> Finrer. I was just about to put my token over there by yours. Yeah, I thought we were we started in the fortress. <laughs> I gotta roll initiative. Oh, that could have been better. Oh shit! Do I have to do that too? I don't want to. I don't want to. I already initiative. roll bad on Sancho. Well, shit. Guess what? Fifteen. Did you roll uh, badly? No, I rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! That's fair. Me okay. too. What the hey, fuck? High five. Uh, what's yeah. your dex, Duchess? Higher than mine. I was gonna say it's an eighteen. Plus four. Okay. Higher than mine. <laughs> and Torin, yours auto updated. Fenrir, you don't have Blade Ward on yourself. Obviously. <laughs> oh. And we gonna die. Uh, what was your initiative? Mine. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a plus two. That's a ten. Okay. Before the plus two? No. <laughs> oh. oh, buddy. Well, let it be known, I have an advantage thanks to my shield, so it would have been far worse. Ah, uh, well, so okay then. <laughs> Fair. All right. Well, in the infamous words of the Black Eyed Peas, let's get it started. Oh, oh God! So, Where are we getting this part, though? first to go is Duchess. As always, yes. Hell yeah! What am I able to see and hit from here? I would say, with the exception of maybe eleven, you have a clear shot on literally everything. Okay. The dragon itself is on like the second floor of the ruined fort and so you can definitely see it above the fort walls are okay. these are these dragonborn zombie things are they uh, like infantry are they archers like what's the what's the weapon situation looking like yeah i suppose that's something you could see right now they are wielding a Long sword. They're dual wielding a long sword and short sword. I also want to say I love how Songshin has put herself closer to the dragon. That is a good point. <laughs> Listen, the further away she is from us, the better chances is she's not gonna fucking shatter bomb us again. And so. she hey. rolled really high on her initiative, so. Yeah. I mean, the dragon it goes right after. Uh, Alar, Jesus, so. Fig, did you roll a nat one on initiative or what? No. Five. I just have got initiative. She rolled a Natalie five. <laughs> Natalie five. <laughs> Oi. Also, to be fair, I did think the dragon was inside of a thing, like round a corner, rather than on top of a thing. Yeah, so okay, 
to kind of give you an idea of where everyone's positioned is you've got four of these dragonborn are out in the open with the rest of you. Two of them are basically standing within the ruins of the fortress gate. One of them is more obscure than the other. And the dragon is basically on the wall where it would be where like archers would be posted kind of thing. And so he's visible through on top of the the second story wall kind okay. of thing. I definitely shouldn't have stood here then. If you want to move, you, you can move. Uh, I'll move over here. Seems like an interesting choice to me, but I will allow it. Ah, it's, it's bad in a different way. <laughs> and that's what I was doing. So, Duchess, what do you got for me? I'm going... Do I get sneak attack on any of this or not? Nah? I will say at this point, you could probably go prone and hide within the fog. Because it's thick enough it would obscure you, but it's low. So if you went prone, I'd let you bonus action hide, and then you could get advantage on, like, a bow shot. Otherwise, right. at this point, it'd be a straight roll. No one's within kind of melee threatening point, so you wouldn't get sneak attack if you attacked first and hit later. You'll okay. probably also have and to I'm roll just on the going ground to stay hidden. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do anyway, so... Um, I am... Where's my fifth? I'm missing a dice. Why am I missing a dice? Did you eat it? No. no. I do not have edible dice. Um, oh, thank you for edible. reminding me those exist. All um, dice are edible if you're brave enough. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm just going to shoot somebody with a bow. Love it. Go ahead. Uh, do these twenty four to hit? I was about to ask dragon or dragonborn, but twenty four would hit either one. Yep. So I'm not uh, looking to piss off the dragon yet. Yeah. Uh, you can pick basically anyone but eleven. You'd have a clear shot on. So you tell me which one you want to shoot at, and let's hit. shoot eight. Eight. All right. 24 hits. So um, at this point in time, you won't have sneak attack, but it's your normal longbow damage. Mm -hmm. 14. It rolled me an eight. And I gave you those fucking bracers. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, he did not enjoy that. I'm assuming you're going to use your bonus action to go prone and hide in the fog? Yes. Do you want to move before you do that? Yes. I'll allow it. Uh, if I can get the computer to work with me, I'm going to move this way. Okay. I'm happy. Uh -huh. So, roll me a stealth check. And I just assume it's going to be something ridiculous, so we're going to move on to Corin. You see Duchess Which let loose is. this arrow and then disappear into the fog as she drops down. Which, which one did she attack? She hit eight, which is eight. this guy. Yeah. Cool. All right, sweet. Uh, bonus action, Rage charge to number seven just screaming bloody murder got the show got the sword out Fair and enough. i would love to uh expend my one order magic charge on number seven okay i can do this these are that d6 uh, is a five d6 is a five all right these are technically counted as undead correct Yes. He did Ooh. say that. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Sorry, it's loading. 
I should really have your wild magic table on a I have separate it. tab or something. Uh, five, right? Blessing yep. of Roland. You are healed for one roll of your Hemocraft die plus your Blood Hunter level for each additional charge expended. You heal yourself for a, an additional hem Hemocraft die. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Well, that does nothing then. Um, so roll, roll me a luck check. Ooh, a luck check. I love a luck check. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do a d twenty. We'll do it on the. We'll do it on the thing here. So we'll just. Boom. All right. I will, because it obviously didn't do anything. Because you've long rested, you're at full health. You still lose the charge. Okay. But I will let you mulligan and have your action back. Sick. Two attacks. Brennan Lee up in his All right. <laughs> All right. So that's. I don't know why I decided to roll it like that. Probably because I'm a fucking idiot. But anyway, um, what's my. What's I think my you have a plus bonus to nine? Attack? Eight. eight? Plus eight. So that's a 15 and an 18. Okay. The 15 misses, 18 hits. Dope. Okay. Sick. Um, ooh, let's do that thing where I do this. I get to reroll that one. Fuck you, motherfucker. Reroll. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I love that JT's already better at using Shard than I am when it comes to being a player. That's not true at all. I always manually re-rolled my piercer feet. I never, like, picked a dice and re-rolled them. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to do math in my head. All right, so you do 18 slashing to number seven. Correct. All right. You've used your action, your bonus action, and some of your movement. Yes. Okay. So I think you have some movement left, but yeah. I don't know. If you want I'm to fine just... with fuck this motherfucker. I'm gonna stand right in his face. I'm just gonna glare at him. All or right. Maybe. I, well, he's undead. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. I was gonna say I'd taunt him, but he's undead, so fuck his dumb ass. Okay. Where we might have to hold on to that. I have to keep that in mind. Some of the wild magic does healing. Yeah, number five does healing. <laughs> yeah. Which you didn't need currently. That would have been a sick one to roll somewhere else in combat, though. It, if yeah. you were taking damage from the dragon, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it would have been great to use later. Well, good thing uh, you of have your paladin has, has, has something that can heal you constantly on each of his okay. turns. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, what is that, Aura Vitality or something? No, that is um, his mace. I think that oh, was... yeah, that's right. I forgot about the mace. So, yeah. Pass. But it also heals any other creature. But okay. I don't know if it would heal undead or if it would damage undead since... Oh, man. I... Radiant. You don't, get to, you don't get to choose the effect of like who it heals in your radius? Nope. Any Anyone within... Um, Oh, I have to read it again. Yeah. All right. Great. So, um, Alar kind of positions himself in a kind of shitty place, but he casts Bane on the dragon and these two <laughs> dragonborn. I've never seen Alar do that. <laughs> well, I don't have that spell stocked on my bar. <laughs> eight, eight, is that eight and which two? Eight and ten? So, oh. ten passed. So, eight and the dragon currently have Bane cast on them. Um, and I will say right now this Alar is also a college sword bard but if you meet him again he might be a different college because you know live vicariously through your DM PCs That's exactly is, right, is he going to be alive after this he might be who knows alright this if he dies, I, I love, I love the confidence <laughs> here guys. if he um, dies I could just make him my thrall 
<laughs> wow. And then I'll just undead kill him like I did the last one. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could make him his throne. Then you could be I just can... like General no, Vesa. I can make him my thrall, and I can put him in the uh, bag of holding. Now, my question is, do I want to use one of the dragon's legendary resistances on a oh, bane no. spell? No. I don't you, think I do. I disagree. I think you should. Yeah, that... that no, that'd be a down. waste. Shut that up, take, Travis. That, that does only also gets... take down... Uh, a, minus, doesn't it, like, minus D, a D4 oh. or something? Mm-hmm. To yeah. all attacks and saving throws and everything else like that. Also, yeah, I fully yeah, forgot between Corin and Alar. God. Travis. Yeah. How do I add a lair action to uh to my initiative? Oh no. Oh, uh I created a monster called Lair Action and I put a it had a token that was invisible. And I gave it the initiative twenty. Just add add a goblin, and hide it, and give it the twenty initiative whenever the goblin starting to slayer actions. Smart. The lair goblin. The lair goblin. <laughs> lair goblin. Every monster has one. Didn't and... you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's the latest in technology for and that. Yeah. We'll remove from map, but it's still active. It's like the other day when I was doing the sun of and I made surprise 20. rat. <laughs> okay. I love that. Um, it's like a little, there's like a little, little trap, and it's like, it's like one rat, and so I was like, oh, what am I gonna call this little encounter for this trap? I just called it surprise rat. <laughs> oh fuck! I love rats. Dude, this feels like. Where does he want to set it? Set so what? Nowhere Blair? near me. What is? What are you? What are you doing? Something not great. Oh dear. Uh, Excuse me, I'm very sorry. I love that we all spread out and still didn't get far enough apart. Yeah. So a poisonous fog appears okay. on most of you, and then it's also going great. to fly down. Motherfucker. And music and keep that don't know if it's going to be enough to hit the three of you. We'll see. Uh, oh, it probably is. What are you doing? I don't love it. Whatever it is. How do I do up? A... Travis! <laughs> no, just, how, much, how much damage did you do to number eight? I think she did 14. How do I do a, just a random measurement? I need a 60-foot cone. Uh, you go That's up to right. add spell token. Yeah. In the top left. He top might not left. actually have... His is in a different spot. Hold on. New spell token. Cone. I can't add it because it won't let me. 60. Oh. Is it... How... how wide is it? 60. 60? Are you kidding me? Hey. Motherfucker. Okay. And with... Oh, no. How do I... Oh, oh. There it is. The little thing. The little thing. Stop it. A little dance. Make a little love. Wait, Lorazis, why did you move? <laughs> I was trying to move the thing. That was a consequence. Like, hold on. You're not supposed to move. Okay, so he's... You would, he's... You would want to hit Corrin over me. I don't think he can. So he from this move. dragon's point of view, it is stepping up straight to Fenrir to make this. So I think... Even though you're correct, he if he were smart, he'd do like this number and then hit Fenrir and Corrin. This is uh, what he's doing. So, question. is this all poison? This is this breath attack is necrotic, but I believe the area of effect you're in is poison. Poison cloud does not affect me. I'm okay. Resistant to poison. 
So you will you'll be affected by the breath attack. Um but you will not be affected by the cloud kill lair action. I need a constitution saving throw from Fenrir, Duchess, Larazus, Songshen. If anyone had ten feet of me, oh, okay. you could have gotten a plus three. I love that the I dead thing in our party side? is only resistant. Oh god. Thing. I'm oh god. A lot of things. Necrotic you heard me. I am rolling is, beautifully today. <laughs> not one of those. Con okay, well, save straight nineteen. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Listen, Fenrir. I may have to use. I may have to keep uh, up to my bargain and uh, give you one of those uh, lay on hands, my man. <laughs> it is so too early for listen. you to be dying, brother. Like, listen. It's Larazus, though. No, what no, no, no. would you get? I haven't rolled yet, but uh, if I silver barbs Fenrir for advantage, uh, how uh, how would Fenrir react to this? <laughs> Wow. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to start my turn in this poison cloud and I actually think maybe it doesn't matter because I'm going to start my turn and lose it death save. Most likely. Yeah. And I would much rather start my turn and die than start my turn and lose a death save. Or protection help with death saves? Uh, it, it would. If you're close yeah. enough. You would just have to move throw. a little bit, yeah. And it is your turn after the dragon, so you can position yourself in a way to. Right, I'll roll without bonuses. Hey, okay, okay, seventeen. Roll. So I'm rolling at disadvantage. No, he rolled straight, so you're rolling straight as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a eighteen. Okay, Duchess and Song Shen passed. <laughs> what in the fucking fuck? Okay. So you each take twenty-seven necrotic damage. I feel like I should be immune to that. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Do I'm you literally a cult. <laughs> Do you have resistance to necrotic damage or oh, nothing? Fuck. <laughs> we might have to work on that. That might be something else to ask your god. Can, um, we, no, can we work on this? Like right this. <laughs> uh, just, just for reasons. <laughs> Larazus and Fenrir, you each oh. take 54 necrotic Wait, I damage. I didn't pass with an 18. You didn't pass with an 18 and a 17? You did not pass with an 18 and a 17. I... Holy shit. Oh. Okay, yeah, so Larazus is 100% down, right? Oh, yeah. Larazus uh, is down. Ow. Um, Larazus is 12 points away from insta <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ow, I will ow. say that is the exact average that it told me it was. So good on that dragon. So yeah, if you had rolled well, I would have easily. Why are we fighting? Not, I'm gonna shut up. So I think the question is no one is asking us. <laughs> why did we level up? Why did we level up before anything? It's still gone turn, happened. Correct. <laughs> um, no, the breath attack is its turn, so that will bring us to uh, Fenrir. It is now your turn. Okay. Does it huh. still have legendary actions? No, hold on. I need to choose what I'm doing very wisely. Wow. Because all oh, this is oh, this is bad. Um. If I move, it has a potential of hitting me and knocking me down. Don't do that. Just attack it. Oh. So, I will say, Fenrir, as your turn starts, I need a wisdom saving throw from you. A wisdom? Yep. What the fuck? Or any presents. Yeah, it's trying to fear you. I'm immune to fear. <laughs> Did I say it was frightening presence? Uh, okay. Roll me a goddamn wisdom. Am... <laughs> okay, God, hold on. <laughs> I am. 
<laughs> Roll Gee. me a me damn wisdom saving throw. I will. Hold on. <laughs> I'm doing math currently, God. Let me do math. It's your language, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone math, keeps saying math, math is, is my language. <laughs> so that is 21. Okay. I will say at this point in time, you pass. I'm going to say something, and if you want to, you can choose to fail at the end of it. Okay. You hear inside your void they make a mockery of my domain oh, oh no it will choose these to... souls had already known rest and they have been ripped back out from my gates oh, oh god boy. we're going to get help from the gods thank thank jesus He's not or, here. We couldn't remember his name. We choose to fail that then. So, if you choose to fail it, and I'll tell you what will happen if you choose to fail it. Okay. Um, you will be unable to do, like, support tasks. You will not be healing your comrades as you fully take your goddess's request to heart and go ham on all these undead creatures. I do have a question. Yes. Um, would I be able to activate as a bonus action my devotee sensor? I think so. Essentially, you are not able to use your action for anything but attacking. So, but... you will be doing essentially a first level divine smite for free on every do it. attack you make. Fucking yeah. do it. So yeah. it. with them being undead, you would be adding an additional 3d8 off the top of radiant damage to any attack you make against any of these undead creatures. It's needed. I, I will I will prioritize I, I will the other team. Versus. Also try and ask since I'm activating Devotee's Sensor, would the uh, D4 that I would be using to heal anything within 10 feet, would those undead also be taking damage from the healing? Because it's not, it's not necrotic. It would be radium. You know what? Just because I'm, I'm a wow baby... I will allow that. And you can you can holy shock where you heal your teammates or deal damage to an undead enemy. So right. I will I will allow that you will not heal undead creatures with your active censure. Censure. Yeah. I do know where Philip is going with this and I love it. I will activate uh, the censure and I will release all hell. Uh -oh. fuck, yeah. fuck yeah fuck yeah michael doesn't like me like that oh shut up so <laughs> essentially just to recap <laughs> she's um, so mad about the ac thing <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the spell token just in case i get the breath weapon back but i'm gonna move it off screen so essentially you are able to use your bonus action and movement still pretty much however you want you are just limited your action has to be doing violence to these undead creatures because your goddess is extremely upset that the necromancer Lord Bastion has hired is basically through some chronomancy bullshit taking souls that have already been resting back out of her gates and she is not happy. So your action is reserved for attacking, um, but you still currently have free reign on your bonus action. That might change where if you start using like healing words, she might be like, nope, stop that and make you cast like Hex or Armor of Agathus. But right now you have free reign of your movement and bonus action, 
but you have to use your action to attack someone on your turn. I can do that. I am always basically getting a free Divine Smite on each attack. Correct. Um, without expending a spell slot, you're doing an extra 3d8 radiant damage to any of these undead creatures you successfully hit. Copy that. Uh, the first hit is 22 on the dragon. And Cloud, and cloud Kill is concentration, so please hit him hard. Well, I got a lot of d8s to roll. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So 22 and first hit. 22 hits. And I don't want to be that guy, but while Cloud Kill is no, concentration, Philip. Cloud Kill as a lair action is bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So I'm angry. I'm angry, but okay. <laughs> I have. And Fenrir is immune to poison, so he's not going to take any damage from the Cloud Kill. But um, yes, twenty-two hits. So. Roll your so damage on that. With the first bludgeoning. That's eight regular bludgeoning damage. All right. Let me get my calculator up so I can just go ahead. And... Yeah, get that calculator out. Eight bludgeoning. Plus that additional D8 from the sensor already. Ooh, that's eight. That's another four. So how much radiant damage did you do from your normal attack? Four to, with just the mace, that would be four extra radiant damage. Okay. So you did eight bludgeoning, four radiant with just the mace. Yes. Okay. And now you're rolling the 3d8. And I will say, the default smite that you're doing does not prevent you from adding your own smite if you actually wanted to burn a spell slot. Oh. But you don't have to. It's not like you're, you've been charmed and I'm making you burn everything you have. But your, your sensor is essentially glowing just a normal brighter by default but if you want to add in an actual smite you can still burn a spell slot to do your normal smites i mean it does say i do that i already used my uh bonus action for um the sensor to heal me at the start of each turn okay um uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and use one of my spell slots. So okay. to do additional 3d8. You are the hero that we need right now. Hmm. So that would be my total right now. Okay, it's not bad. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You never really want your paladin to roll 68 and then go, Ooh. That is fine. I disagree. I 100% wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. As um, a DM, you never want your paladin to roll 68 and yeah. then go, Ooh. Only 68? Do you know okay, how many so D8 for... Jack has rolled before? Uh, yeah. If you ask, he'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> he did 240 damage to an undead dragon. Wow. I... Weird. So that, I would so also the total of radiant that. damage that I did. I think that dragon has the, the same uh, stat block as this one, by the way. Oh. Minus. Did that the dragon like acid? Regular damage that I did. Uh, that is thirty-five radiant damage. Rad damage. Also, I ain't gonna answer that. I think him killing me round once to keep me from metagame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was your first attack. Out of oh, second. Jesus. Woo! 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, 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 when he makes not, that noise. Not a nat 20, but it was close. Uh. It was a 19 plus 9, so 28. A 28 does hit, yes. So first regular amount of damage, and I'm going to spend another spell slot. This time I'm expending a second. All right, so you're going to be doing 78 total for your smite damage. I'm going to absolutely lose it if I don't actually live long enough to use a legendary action. And that's going to be on me. (laughs) So that is 12 bludgeoning damage plus 2 radiant. Now, plus okay. the three. Is it only on the first hit? No. Your your weapon is pretty much perpetually glowing at this point. And so okay. any undead you come in contact with while your weapon is in this state is going to take an additional 3d8 on a successful hit. So with a second level smite, you are going to be rolling 78 radiant damage. First, ah, oh, that's not good. Come on, get, come on now. Good for you, not for me. You're rolling better, rolling better on the first one. Come on now, <laughs> big numbers, no whammies. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that's the first three. Now the four. <laughs> Come on, another eight. <laughs> okay. Now you now you just Okay. One more. Yes. Okay, for that second smite, that is forty two <sighs> radiant damage. Let's see that red circle fill up. Oops. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and so that's your turn, right, Fenrir? Uh, yeah, I've used... Uh, I'm not going to back away from it. Because okay. if I do, he gets an attack of opportunity and I could go down. So... As your turn end, it's going to use two legendary actions to do a wing attack, and I need a dex save from Fenrir. Me. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to pass, but that's a... Fourteen. That does fail. Yeah. You're going to take nine bludgeoning damage and get knocked prone. And then the I will dragon... Like to use my, I will also like to use my reaction. Okay. And he needs to make a dex save. Does he still have Bane? He does still have Bane. So... (laughs) I think he fails anyways, right? A 12 is less than your... (laughs) Okay, so he just fails that. So cast your Hellish Rebuke. He is going to take... Because I'm using second level to do this. So I'm all out of second level spells. 3d10. And Hellish Rebuke is fire damage, right? Yes. It is not radiant. Where did my other... There we go. I'm not not going to lie. This could be bad for me. Well, let me just put it this way. I rolled a 10 and then a 1. So the last one. So that is a 14 fire damage. Oh my god. Is he, like, at 1 HP? Um, He is at 0 HP. And so it comes down to... Oh, 
A, I should have used my legendary resistance there. But this is yeah, more you know. fun. Um, undead Fortitude. If damage oh, reduces yeah. the dragon to zero hit points, it must make a constitution saving throw with a DC of five plus the damage taken. Yeah. Unless the damage is radiant or from a critical hit. So, so that's, 19 that's, is the yep. DC. I should get that. He has a <laughs> plus 11 to this roll. On an oh. 8 or higher, he is going to drop down to 1 instead of 0. Fenrir is going to be prone, and he's going to fly away. Oh. Going to roll this publicly on shard. Uh-huh. Oh! I mean, yeah. <laughs> he is at one health. Fenrir, you're prone. And he gets to fly up to half his movement speed. And he's going to sit back up on top of the castle. Reasonable. You uh, motherfucker. Oh my god. Does he get to... I use does he get reaction. to use that every time he... Uh, every time he goes to drops to zero? Yes. As long as it's not from a critical hit or radiant, or radiant, or radiant damage. damage. Yep. Okay, cool. I could have changed uh, Hellish Rebuke to Radiant Damage. I would have. But I cannot. Mm -hmm. ha I do not have that ability. I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it. I do wonder if he could use a Legendary Resistance on that. It is a con save. On that's what, what I, That's what I should save it for. His Undead Fortitude roll. <laughs> But he has a plus 11 to it. Chances are he's going to make that anyways. All right. It's time for these guys to get in the mix. This one's going to run up to Corin, And he is going to make three attacks on you. That's a dirty 20. It's. That's a crit. It's. And that's a 15. Okay, so... My channel divinity. On the hey guys, first... I gotta go. Um, it'd be dinner time on my end. Sounds good, bro. All right. Okay, Head now. I'll talk to you. Yes, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. That is five have to two for the first hit, Corin. Okay. And then the critical... Is 12 have to 6. Okay. And that's gonna. This guy's just gonna kind of swing around you so he can get advantage on these. Oh, rolls. fuck you. If you guys can flank, so can I. We're gonna, I know. We're gonna go. Missed. Oh, that was a D8. That's my. Yeah, it was a D8. I'm like, brother, what the fuck is this shit? Oh. Okay, yeah, that hits. Fucking Motherfucker, shit. that's a crit. God damn it, man. And that the misses. Short sword. So what the fuck happened to DM rolls? Why are you rolling higher than a four? Philip, what the fuck's going well, we don't on? need to re-roll the first one, but we're gonna do advantage on the nat one. <laughs> oh my god! Do have a question? Yes. Would I be able to use my channel divinity to try and take control of one of the corpses? I cast. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially, what does your channel divinity do? Create undead. But I guess they would have to actually be dead for me to do that. Never mind. Not, already us. been reanimated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, I use my create undead on top of your create undead to take well, your become, undead. They would become my thrall. All right. So, on his short sword swing, he does nine have to four, and then we need to critically hit his long swords. That's eleven have to five. Fourteen have to seven. Philip, if you wanted to end the campaign, there are easier ways to do it. <laughs> How high off the ground is the dragon? Um, the walls are maybe ten feet high. Okay. Like you know, normal walls. Like you couldn't stab it if you were standing there, but 
definitely in bow range or spell range. Just checking. Okay. Eight is definitely going to run up to Alar and do the same thing. That's a dirty 20. That's a 17. Break yourself, Philip. And that is a 16, I think. So the two long sword attacks hit, but the short sword attack misses. Okay, that's eight damage. And another eight damage. So Alar needs to make two con saving throws. And he needs to beat a ten or higher on both of them. The dragon is no longer banged. Ooh. Well, what did I roll? I rolled a dirty 20 and a 17. <sighs> okay, we're going to do the 20. We want a 4. Okay, he still hits on the 20. <laughs> he misses on the 17. So Alar takes 8 damage, loses concentration, and 8 and the dragon are no longer baned. How much praying to Attila would I have to do to get an amulet of health? I don't know if that's kind of a direct interaction thing that she could do, but uh, we could work towards it. I think Nine is going to also step up to Corin, And I have to imagine my rolls are done. That's a 13. That misses. That's a 12. That misses. I like these rolls better. <laughs> and now they're feeling like DM yeah, rolls. Yeah, okay. That's I'll take 19. one. I'll take one. All right. All right. I'll take one. All right. So he just hits with the short sword. That's six damage. All right. Half to three. Yes. Fuck, man. That's going to bring us to 10, who's going to, I think, oh. flank Alar. So we'll make if I didn't have rage, I'd be in such poor shape. <laughs> With advantage. You're in rough shape anyway. I know. <laughs> I I can't our, honor our bargain right now. <laughs> Rasus. It's fine. I knew the risks. You know the rules, and okay. so do I. So that's going to turn into a hit. Say goodbye. That stays a hit. I'm going to take so many fucking attacks of opportunity on this next turn. And that stays a hit. All right. So. 10. 11. 5. This music be hitting, though. I'm, I'm, there's music? Four. Uh, but what Travis copied in the chat, I just started listening to, and it is. Uh, oh it yeah, is. I I I put that on for me whenever I. I'm feeling it. Boss fight. I think I technically have it set up. Uh, let me check my OBS really quick. Honestly, I think I could put this whole thing I into think I shard. Do... This feels like a D and D tense, not a D and D combat. That doesn't sound tense enough. Let's do combat. There we go. Arcane Anthem's coming in clutch. Uh, and the last Dragonborn. Is, I think... Going to trip and fall. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, Wouldn't all that rubble make it hazardous terrain? Shouldn't he have to make a deck save in order to pass it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you considered it though. You considered I did. it though. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do a deck save. It probably would have been an acrobatic check to see if he was able to. Uh, Zombies are not known for their acrobatics yeah. or their. Uh, all right. Right now, I, I think all song. three of these hits miss, but he does. He's flanking you with nine, so we'll see if any of these advantages turn into a hit. So we're still at 16 for the long Is sword. Is he swinging on me? You motherfucker. 24 for the long that sword. Hits. So I think I hit you once right now. 
Still a 17 for a short sword. That's a miss, right? Okay, misses, yes. He's keeping okay. me from silvering barbs is everything. Oh, right. I have silvery barbs, too. Uh, you take eight, have to four. Wait, Ailer didn't four. use silvery barbs? I'm sorry, really I don't it. know how to play spellcaster NPCs, Travis. <laughs> That's why all of my enemies are usually martial. Uh, that should get us through uh, Lorazis. Um, well, I take damage from Cloud Kill. Okay, so you'll take one death save. One death save. And now, I, if I roll a 20 on this, I'm going to fireball Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, a 16. That's, that's a pass. Oops. I clicked there the succeed go. instead oh, of the fail. No. Okay, so you're at one and one. Until he moves out of the cloud kill, he every time it's his turn, he's going to yes. use one. Yep. Fuck. The, technically on initiative, it, sh it should move. It Song Shen, I need you to fireball me. Song Shen now is going to die <laughs> to cloud kill. Oh, that is true. But she does have resistance to poison damage. I still is maintain I should be immune. Also, that thing the dragon did, I should get that. I am a corpse. So you should heal. Undead fortitude. <laughs> yeah. I deserve it, Philip. Well, I'm not the one who made the homebrew. Not even race homebrew. that you're playing. Re 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 yeah. Reborn is in. Um, yeah, it Ravenloft. was. It was UA, and then became Ravenloft. I'm not the one who wrote it. <laughs> Bring it up to Jeremy Crawford, whoever did Ravenloft. Um, yes. So I need a look at the book. con save from Song Shen. Okay. Come on, Come on. 15. That is going to fail. Five, what, 5 to 8? Oh. It is 5 to 8. No oh, knockdown. Boy. No knockdown. No knockdown. You got this. Come on. Please. That's knock. 24 Ooh, have to 12 because you're resistant to poison damage, right? Uh-huh. All right. No uh, okay, to be fair, wait, hang on, real quick. How it's poison cloud, right? Yes. How does it? How is it damaging me? Is it because I'm breathing the damage? The no, it affects you even if you don't have to breathe. No, not breathe. <laughs> You're supposed to be on the left side. You I'm just telling you how the cloud the spell reads. No, I'm He's like, I got it right up here on my screen. You want? We? You want me to send a screenshot <laughs> in the chat? I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I'm so hot. <laughs> There, get out of the cloud. Kill. Creatures are affected even if they hold their breath or don't need to breathe. That's so dumb. <laughs> just get out of the cloud. Oh, kill. dude. I mean, I'm gonna. I just it's love like the seeping idea seeping through that your undead pores. You know, there was a there was an alpha version of cloud kill <laughs> where they were like, I don't have to breathe, so does this not affect me? And the DS were like, God damn it! And they're like, yeah, because like you can because you can hold your breath for such an obscenely and large amount of time in oh, GD. Even, like, even yeah. people I just don't yeah. breathe. Even people who don't need to breathe, yeah, it's like your con modifier is the minimum number of minutes you can hold your breath for a yeah, minimum combat, of one. And combat literally lasts Which like means, seconds. Yeah, in yeah. combat with a con modifier of zero, you can hold your breath for ten rounds. And to be fair, though, holding your breath and not having to breathe is slightly different. Correct. But also, yeah, but. It's fine. So Song Shen is hurt, is here. what she's like, saying. Yeah, she's, she's, she's great. Damaged. Move further than that. <laughs> Get so far away and then fireball me. I mean, I'm gonna. No, 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 no. What the fuck do you want? Do it. Just fireball me. I need, I need, I need, I need an exit from this fucking clusterfuck bit. But we don't know how much health they have. If it's not gonna wipe them out, you're beyond fucked. I'm, well, yeah, exactly. She should just nuke one of them. No, I mean, my nuke spell is fireball, is the thing. I would prefer to nuke Alar, because then you could kill the dragon, too. That is true. But if it's like not Ayla. radiant, it has the potential of... Just getting right back up again? Yeah. It, it, the part and of getting the DC is the damage it was dealt. Oh, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So you would have it's to have... max is a 30. We got this. Mm. Unless you roll nothing. shit on fireball. And there's nothing I can do no, about that. No, I can reroll fireball. It's fine. 
fuck. I wish Twin. Twin. Wait, wait. Am I wait. quick and smell another death scene? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, Twin Spell is one with. Fucking As he fades from conscious, this is taking too fucking long. <laughs> I'm gonna fireball the dragon. Alright. Okay. But I'm also gonna lingering uh, spell it as well. Okay. It's also gonna what? Lingering spell? What does that do? You can do half your damage again on its turn, your turn. <laughs> Will you let me touch those two? <laughs> well, it depends. It's The dragon's 20 feet in the air. Oh, yeah, good point. No, it's, okay. it's on the tower. It's like 10 so. feet in there. But, like, yeah, it's an orb, so, like, it would still be just out of it, I guess. We will. I think that's a, that's a good position for it. I'll let you hit the dragon and the three people on the ground. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, also, hmm. I, I'm not I'm gonna, gonna say anything. I think he knows. Okay. he knows. He knows. He uh, knows. Fig's been dreaming of killing Aylar ever since he hit on someone else. Yeah. I've, I had it coming. I, I, I think I the DM knows what he's going to do. But wait, 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 I'm re-rolling three of my dice. That wasn't supposed to be a plus, but okay. Okay. I've got a 21, a 17, and a 15 for your enemies. Uh-huh. Alar. Uh, it is 16, so it's a 20, It's going to be 29 total damage. Of course, Alar rolls a nat one, you dumb bitch. Fantastic. <laughs> Um, I hate him. <laughs> I hate this version. Okay, so why would you hate the version who hasn't cheated on you yet? So you said We're not a thing. twenty-nine <laughs> damage total. Uh, no. I forgot what order I was going in. Uh, I'm not so, gonna say anything. So I'm gonna do. Cause... Well, the dragon rolled in that one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And well, Aroar I'm, rolled a 16. I, <laughs> um, okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm not just going to say anything. I'm I not think I say did it. 29 to that Would one. That so I'll do 14 to us. this one. <sighs> did you say the dragon failed? The dragon succeeded. Did it legendarily succeed? No, it rolled a 21. I am. Now I'm going to use my reaction to Silvery Barb's. The. Let's go with the Dragonborn that passed. Okay. So we'll reroll the deck save for it. That becomes a failure, so we'll go mm -hmm. ahead and do the remaining 15 damage to it. And then next turn, they will both uh, potentially take the same damage again. And then, come on, just roll. A, write that down. Just roll a twelve or higher. Okay. <laughs> so Alar does not immediately die. <laughs> <laughs> He's just slightly sturdier than. And truly, Alar can and Alar all by net twenty. Yeah. Exactly. So it does the same amount of damage the next turn? I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Oh, they must succeed on the same saving throw at the start of the next turn or take half the damage again. Okay. So they can take up to 14 damage if they fail the save yes. again. Um, the dragon did pass. 14 does still drop it to zero. Um, so it needs to... That is, again, a DC 19 constitution saving throw. So Come it on, needs a, a 8 or higher for this one. That is a 26. It succeeds. I hate this thing. <laughs> Can I, as a bonus action, drink out of that one fucking jug that I definitely mentioned that I felt filled with a... Uh, uh, yes. Healing? 
Uh, the jug is a potion, so you can the normal rules somebody, of potion supply. Somebody kill me so I be, can become undead and have undead fortitude. I will be literally so unstoppable. Please, Give me no. okay. a brawl. What if I gave you an amulet that turned you into Stay a mummy? From me. Duchess no. is a digital is a physical dice person, so I'm gonna roll my physical dice for Duchess's con save. It was a great healing, right? Uh, which type of vessel do you have? Star. That one's greater, yeah. Okay. Um, no one, no one tell Blue that I did bad. I mean, she'll probably know. She crit fail a saving throw. I rolled a three. Um, which Duchess is down. Yeah, with her, <laughs> with her con bonus is a plus zero. So Duchess, uh, Duchess drops to zero. And for once is... Well, at this point, she still might not be visible. We'll see. Uh, Corin, I need a con save from you. I would rather die. Please, that, that might be what's happening. That can be arranged! <laughs> it could be. I don't want it to be. That's but it a could fucking be. 19. A 19 passes. Excellent. And I will say, Cloud Kill, I think I said it has a, a sh smaller DC than the dragon's normal one. But a 19 passes regardless. So you'll be taking half of this poison damage. What's that? So that's 23, half to 11. Half to 5. Half to 5. Oh. He's still not good. This is still very bad. I just clicked on Corin, and it is ridiculous how many times I've not only hit him, but crit him. And he's still doing fairly well compared to literally everyone else. The fact that he he's did not... The, he's got to be in single digits now. Uh, he's, no, he's, he's at 51 out of 87. What? The fact that he did not get hit by the breath... I think is the difference between Corrin just yeah. vibing surrounded oh, by enemies and everyone else being dead. Also, if the dragon would have failed on either of those and Cloudkill disappeared, Duchess is still alive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Corrin, you successfully passed. You take five damage from a 5d8 roll of damage, and it is your turn. You're surrounded by undead okay 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 um all right um i feel like i know what you're gonna do um. die how dare you? All right, um, bonus action, Ride of the Dawn. Yep. Good choice. That's what I would have done. Fuck these motherfuckers. Hit me with your attack of opportunities. Oh my god. Actually, hold on, hold on. I want to hit. I want to hit number nine with an attack roll. Nope, nope, nope. I don't. That's greedy. That's greedy. Fucking okay. hit me with your attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and roll 4d20s. Add 5 to all of them. Okay. Uh, highest is a 15. I think they all missed. They all you. missed. Um, you ride a dawn to your sword, correct? Correct. I... For you to do what you, I think you want to do, I need an athletics check from Corin to high jump and whack this motherfucker. I okay, de deal, deal, deal. Athletics check. That's plus four, and I'm uh, I'm raging, so I get advantage on this. Because what's the uh, normal rules for high jump? It's half your. If you have a running start. I know long jump, you can basically just do, like, your strength is what you can long jump if you have a yeah. running start. But I I think I don't high jump is lower. Jump. It's probably half. Yeah. Or something. Anyway. 
Okay, so I get advantage on that, so that's um, uh, dirty twenty is gonna be the high roll on it. I will let you absolutely do that. Okay, sick. So you are going to be making an attack roll. Mm-hmm. Nineteen to hit. A nineteen hits. Fuck yeah. Okay, hold on. And then I get to roll because he's an undead creature, correct? He is an undead creature. I get to roll an extra D6. Okay, so that's 13 slashing and 5 radiant. All right. Technically, you killed him with your slashing, but the radiant is what you dealt last, and the radiant is what we're going to count. He was at 1 HP. You dealt radiant damage. He does not get to use undead fortitude. Excellent. He drops. You okay. you leap ten feet up in the air, and <laughs> radiant sword. Um, just just enough to put him down. Okay. Um, and yeah, this uh, cloud kill goes away. Oh, okay, thank fucking god. All right. As cool. his lair action is no longer. Up. All right, sick. So I have no movement left. Got a hand axe. I do have a hand axe, I guess. Kind of looks like number eight has a yellow ring around it. Fuck it, why not? Uh. Okay, all right, that's fair. Is reckless a bonus action? Uh, no, I think it's just a call it sort of thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's just you just say it, which I didn't because I'm dumb. Well, as you may have noticed in that one does not hit. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's my turn, so. As a how far away is he from where is this? 55 feet as a bonus action fuck it we're going to do a fifth level healing word oh, oh. that might full help me so uh, I'm gonna oh I'm gonna God, Travis, I'm gonna so lose bad. his one slot of dominate person but that's uh <laughs> That's not useful here. <laughs> right? That's four additional D fours. You would roll two ones. <laughs> Fucker. And two That's... fours, I guess. Uh plus five seventeen health. Well that's more than a third. That's like half my health. Oh my god, I hate I hate how low your health is. I hate it. I don't know how to do And then <laughs> I guess since I'm currently still Call the bard with Alar. I'll just attack twice. That's a dirty Hi. twenty. Oh yeah. Oh wait, double check. Did you heal everybody? Uh, no, just Lerazis. just Lorazis. Also, I would like to note. I know I've been healing word. I would like to act as dead as possible until my turn. 
<laughs> that's smart. You should. Yeah, that's a good idea. Smart plan. Good idea. It's okay. Fenrir's gonna just Hulk out on these other dudes here in a second. So he's I mean, gonna yeah. do fifteen damage to this guy on his one attack. He missed on his second one. Thank God, Fenrir finally got his second attack. Holy fuck! And. That's going to be Alar's turn, because he's obviously not going to move and give people an opportunity to attack. Fenrir, my man. <laughs> um, you have your choice of targets. You do still currently have to use your action to attack people. But oh, otherwise... Okay. Does your hanser see... Did your hanser, does your sensor heal you? Yes. At the start of my turn, it heals D4. That is four points of healing. Hell yes. Nice. Well bad. What's the range on sensor? Ten feet. Plus, it's ten feet. Okay. So, Loraz and Duchess are both out of range of you. Go up to this one. Bonus action. Thunderous smite. Does he still have his uh, his god mission smite thing going on? Yes. yes. As long as there are undead creatures, undead things okay, that cool. have been pulled from their rest, uh, Fenrir is going to be buffed. So, you need a strength save from me. Or, when you hit, you need a strength save from me. 15 to hit? 15 does not hit. Okay, that one's gonna hit. 14 plus 9. Alright. So, you need a strength save from me. This one. Oh, fuck you. Ah, uh, fuck it. Aylor will use uh, Silvery Barbs, and... Who's next? Start off damage. He'll give... Lorazus <laughs> advantage. I like that you whispered that you're still pretending to be dead. I... So that's a 15 instead of a 25 on his strength saving throw. He still beats it, right? Beats it, beats it. Beats it, yeah. beats it. Ah. Um, so does he take half the damage of Thunderous Smite? Right? And he's not deafened? Or he's not knocked prone? Oh, he, he's not push 10 feet away and knock prone he, since he made that, but he still takes the uh, extra uh, thunder damage. Okay. So, yeah, so he takes the full 2d6. He's just not knock prone or pushed away. I'm also going to burn a, another spell slot for uh, additional smite. So for the regular damage, that is fourteen bludgeoning damage, and then eight radiant damage from the uh, sensor. Okay. As for the, I'm gonna do the uh, thunder smite next. Oof. 12 thunder damage. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but you might not want to burn a spell slot on this one. Because <laughs> you, you have the default 3d8 coming up next, right? Yes. I would definitely roll that. So 
That one is just a regular 14 damage. Good enough. All right. That one drops, kind of um, just drops into dust, and you kind of see this soul kind of drift back into the ground as the mist kind of covers it. I'm going to go up to this one. No, wait. That was my second attack, so I can't yeah. do anything. You missed on your first attack. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I forgot that I gave these guys breath attacks. No, you didn't. Oh, no, on. you didn't. No, you didn't. Look at that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Keep that no, spell no, slot. No, no, sir. Uh, I... Bonus action for I don't know if you've used your bonus action this turn. Thunderous yeah, Might is Thunderous Might. Might. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So you're done. So, yeah. Um and this one's gonna sneak around you and make three attacks on ya. So currently, all three of these miss, right? But he's flanking, so we're going to see if advantage makes any any changes. 15 still misses. 18 still misses. 19 still misses, right? Your, your AC is 20 at this point, isn't it? not going to answer me. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's I, like, I he's you like, hear me? Don't no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can hear I, you now. Yes. <laughs> I guess this guy is going to make three it's attacks yes. on Alar. 14 misses. Seven misses. Hell yeah. More like that. 21 hits. But is that what I said? He's he's also flanking with ten, so he's gonna get advantage. Fourteen still misses. Dirty twenty hits. Twenty three hits. So he's going to deal. Good night, Alor. Nine. No. Plus four for thirteen damage. <laughs> Uh, I would have been down two rounds ago, but Alar is currently at one health. What a minch. Well, he's still got to take another one. <laughs> so, the next one is number nine, who I think is going to chase after Corin and make his yeah, do three that. attacks. Yeah, do that. Do that. Do <laughs> that. God, I, sh I should have given them some kind of sword that dealt damage on top of slashing it's just ridiculous how many times I hit you and I did 20 total damage missed okay oh well that one was a d6 <laughs> yeah I, was, I don't I, what's, the, what's this d6 about okay so all we got three, a 17 and, nine, and a 17 those three currently miss that becomes a dirty 20 how? Oh, no, I'm not flanking you. They all three of us. <laughs> I was about to say, come on Sorry. now, wait a minute. Sorry, flanking that's... me with the corpse? <laughs> that's my B, yeah. <laughs> He's inspired by the dragon. Right, right. At right. This, this point, it's just, all, deader, it's just an even, even larger pile of dust. Okay, oh, yeah. the chance of this guy missing Alar with advantage three times has to be zero. So slim. But we're gonna see. Okay. Ooh, he hits with his short sword regardless. ALR drops. No, no. DMPCs automatically stabilize them, right? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, 
Oh, uh, he's dead. Oh, guess who's getting a new thrall? <laughs> you want that so bad, don't you? <laughs> I want a thrall. It'll help. Okay. Oh, that, that uh, It'll help. I promise. Eleven is flanking with six, so he's gonna get advantage on these attacks. I think a oh, twenty-two fuck. does hit you. We'll see if we crit. Okay, eighteen still misses. <laughs> 22 still hits. Yo. <laughs> and a 9 misses. So he is going to do a single 1d8 plus 3. 9 damage to Fenrir. Owie. Hey, Travis. Oh how you doing, God. bud? Lorazis. <laughs> Lorazis. <laughs> Listen, I had a turn. He's awake. Gonna be and he's ready. Hurt. Corn is literally cheering your name right now. <laughs> Fireball me, Larazes. I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be better. <laughs> I'm gonna use my action to put a potion of greater healing down. Uh, no, just a regular potion of healing down Duchess's throat. Do you want to roll it, or do you want me to? Uh, I can roll it. All right. Yeah, you're both DMs, so. So six healing to Duchess. Mm. Then healing word to Alar as a bonus action at Arrasus. fourth level. God, look at you! I do declare. Oh my goodness. I think I found my new soulmate. <laughs> I, love that, I love that Song Shin comes after the guy who's been dead the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I roll bad. It's fine. I roll bad. You know what's funny to me is in our Saturday campaign, I would have a yellow ring after someone did 14 healing to me. <laughs> it's so soft. It's so soft. And then 20 more feet of movement. And, um... To run the fuck away. No, actually... Hold, hold up. What's oh. the range on this? You trying to make sure you're still in range of silver barbs? Yeah, I'll be here. And I will say, everyone, you've kind of noticed the fog is about waist high now. Like, people are, um starting to become a little bit more lightly obscured. It'd be easier to hide if you wanted to do so, but yeah. Um, the fog is slowly rising and thickening. Like, this is probably the last round Larazas could have, in-game, made sense to actually find Duchess and give her a healing potion. That's good. I am going to, as a free action, um, do some mild praying to Atala. Okay. But well, in like a Oh god, okay. okay. Help, right? That's you you guys you guys help, right? Yes. <laughs> Just a casual talk. Hey, Just casual. Uh, can you uh can you guys help, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah if, if I like consistently do this more often. No, I just that's talk like to you. good? I can if we just chat, is that is it yeah, like, stuff yeah. my help? <laughs> I, I kind of see what, like, the armory guy's happening. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> Let's do a religion <laughs> check on this. Oh, fuck life. All right. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's better than it should be. <laughs> what is your religion? Plus five? Uh, okay. it's, a oh, it, you're in <laughs> it's, uh, I was going to say, you probably don't hear anything back, but I was kind of confused what I was going to do with this but I kind of set the precedent that Fenrir's goddess obviously is um, not limited by the constraints of the timey-wimey bullshit y'all are in but oh, yeah. I, I was like oh shit is she just going to be confused that some guy is reaching out to her that she technically hasn't shown interest in yet but I, I set a precedent so I would have allowed it but with a 10 you just kind of you pray, you hear no physical response. And that's, that's going to bring us to Song Shen's turn. Jesus 
Christ. Uh, I'm here, yes. <laughs> well, suddenly a lot of random shit everywhere, huh? Fenrir's looking pretty fireballable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the what's the radius on Oh wait 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 Fireball? I need you to make um I think it's a Dex Saving Throws. Also have lingering still on? Yes, yes. That's that's the Dex Saving Throws. On the two guys that were with the dragon. I uh, don't know which of those were. That's everyone in this area right here. I think it's eight and ten. And it's Nobody moved over there, did they? Court moved uh -oh. over there. Hey, did um Did Court uh moved did Aenor fail his save on the first one? He succeeded on his first one. Okay. So anyone who failed he has to he make a reroll. Yeah, he doesn't have to do it again. Okay. I think... Uh, roll me a d4. We're going to call... Because I don't remember, but we're going to call evens, eight, odds, ten. One of them okay. failed and one of them passed, and I don't remember. Uh, okay. So, 10 is going to make an additional deck save, and if they fail, yeah. take 14, 14. more fi fire damage. That's a 4. If they fail, they're going to take 14. Okay. I will say, after this uh, combat's over, I will have to head on out. I think that's fair for mostly everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, we've gone a little bit over. How does uh how does Fedra feel about acid? Uh, I am made of metal. He's made of metal, so he probably doesn't love it, uh, yeah. Not great, then, yeah. Okay, I'll just I'll just do I'll just buy more. I'm not <laughs> I am not immune. To acid. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to put you in a container that's a little bit more convenient, Fenrir. There we go. That's immune to everything? <laughs> sure, why not? I... I would like everybody in that area to make a deck saving throw, please. Okay. Deck saving throw? <laughs> One of my worst ones, thanks. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> Are you? With the acid anyway, sorry. Okay, number what, six what rolls a 19. It's a save, so half damage. Number 11 rolls an 11. That's funny. And number nine rolls a nine, a seven. Great. Seven. Okay, you so six passes, great. eleven and nine fail. Mm -hmm. You know what would be great for this right about now? Shield master. Shield master. <laughs> <laughs> I would, if I had passed, I would take zero damage. <laughs> but that is a eighteen. Oh no, the passes. My, it's a sixteen. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so can we can we gain so feats please through don't like those. training please and don't, stuff? Don't don't just don't reroll those, please. <laughs> I want you so bad. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh my God. Okay. Where the fuck are those? Where does it say? Um. To be fair to Fenrir, I've made three tiers of a feat he's trying to gain. And so, like, the initial 40 hours of the first one, and I know I decided how long it would take him to do the second one, but I've already forgotten it, so I'll have to revisit my mind <laughs> to do that. But, um, yeah, essentially it's a combination of finding someone who can basically teach you the thing and then time slash money to do the thing. Gotcha. I have, I have plenty of money. <laughs> A lot of people uh, have plenty of money in this party. I think Songshen might technically be the poorest one. Probably. Only because Fig doesn't fucking pay yeah. attention to her once, inventory once ever. Once Duchess uh, decides, once Duchess decides exactly how much money she has hidden around the city, I think Songshen will officially become the poorest member of the party. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's my turn. There's nothing I want to do on a bonus action. Or nothing I can do on a bonus action anyway. Alright, I think Duchess is going to bonus action, or she already gets sneak attack if she attacks pretty much anyone. I think she's going to take a shot at number 10. What does she add to her longbow? Um, 
uh, is a plus seven. Well, I crit. Uh-oh. So we're just going to go ahead and toggle that, because I don't feel like rolling damage. Holy shit. Pretty sure she would have killed literally anyone she took a shot at, but I guess it's number <laughs> 10. <laughs> um, you would have... You wouldn't have insta kill me, but you would have definitely downed me. Let's let's just for shits and giggles, because my home rule is nat one auto fail, nat twenty mm -hmm. auto success. If this guy rolls a nat twenty, yeah. Nope. But there's no way what that would have been a DC fifty five for, oh. for his undead fortitude to kick in. Uh, and then she's gonna bonus action hide. That's that one. She has. That's that's our girl. A second attack. Put that one side. No, nah, she's a rogue. Oh yeah, rogues don't. So, have. so that's a twenty-six for her. She drops back down into the fog, and that brings us to Corin. All right. I hate this. Um. I would like to swing my sword. Right. <laughs> Did you do lingering on the last fireball as well, Fig, or no? Please say no. Yeah, do you want to fuck up Finry even more, Fig? <laughs> Get fucked. Wait, how much damage did I take? You never said. <laughs> uh, if you failed, it would have been 27. So I would be, but I passed, so it's like 13, 13. damage? Yep. I'm not doing too hot. Really? Yeah, look at my ring. I, f I feel that. <laughs> I'm impressed I'm at yellow. That's only like a 4 HP spread. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Out of 90 HP, I have 18. You have 90? Yeah. I don't want I don't even want to say my health total. You know, uh, we want we want this we want this combat to be over, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want it to go on Forever. Well, in that case, I gotta drop out right now. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Fenrir's like, I'm okay with being dead, dead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you I'm had a potion of speed, and that wasn't the first action you used. I look at man. I was there. There was stuff going on. It would have been a bad deal for. He other has things. so many other bonus to, actions. I did not. I did not anticipate the dragon being the way he was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I you thought should, you mm. should always anticipate the dragon to be the way he was. See, I spilled you with the young kid who kind of turned into a dragon. And so when you finally run into a real one, oh, now I'm being an asshole. I'm back. From now on, my first turn, every fucking combat is just going to be oh, rage, <laughs> rage, and fucking speed. Like, it's, it's the first thing I'm going to do every fucking time. Now. Just use the haste. Uh, yeah, drink your, drink your haste attack. potion. And then yeah, use from your now, hasted action to rage. Yeah, from now on, that's from now on, that's what we're doing. Okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the action economy. Okay. We're just not quite there yet. Hey, can I bring an oh. item from my campaign into your campaign, Philip? Potentially, <laughs> which item? The, the orb that lets a spell be a permanent spell. No. I'll, I'll tell you what the curse is. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that to Lorazis. <laughs> <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> I will say, if you make it worth my while, I also know haste. We were we were literally just talking about drugs and how you could bring some of the mushrooms in from your campaign, but you'd have to tell me what they do. So, oh, you know, that, it's the same that's, vibe. That's a fair trade. Yeah. All right. All right. Corin is hasted. Right. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to attack. I want to attack number nine. Take your swings. Okay. Number nine is looking kind of healthy. I'm reckless. Okay, dirty uh, 20. That hits. Yeah, dirty 20 hits. Okay. And he's undead. So there will be an extra D6 radiant. radiant. I fucking hate this. Okay, so you did 13 slashing, 3 radiant. Two. 
All right, second attack. Nat 20. Nice. Surprisingly enough, that does hit. And you get a charge on your sword back. Yeah. And there's an extra... Do I get to double the ra the, the bonus radiant damage? Yeah. Crits double everything. Excellent. That's better. And I forgot because Nappa was technically the one who actually told you what your last charge did. But as is tradition, when you, ex when you figure out what something does, I will send you that so you okay. know. All right, so. so that's a that's a bunch of damage. Okay, twenty slashing, two radiant plus eight radiant. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he dead. All right, sweet, and I will use my movement to go over here. All right. And I'll attack that one with my third action. With my third attack, whatever you want to call it. Also reckless, so with advantage. Even though we're flanking, so it had anyway, so whatever, it's fine. Reckless is reckless. It is what it is, yeah. All right, it's like a 27 to hit. That does hit. All right, cool. Oh, God, I scrolled in the wrong direction. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> Okay, uh, get to re-roll that one. That's fucking, that's better. Alright. He's undead, so we get another d6. 18 slashing. That's, that's better. 10 radiant. Woo! He did not enjoy that. Excellent, and I just blood-curdling scream right in his face. <laughs> He just looks at you kind of confused and his little undead like I fucking hate I fucking hate undead enemies. <sighs> <laughs> wow, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's just like angry cat hissing at me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Dragon's dead, so there's no lair action. Basically all Alar has to do is hit one time on one of his attacks to <laughs> Otherwise, eight's probably gonna kill him. That's a ten. Holy fuck! Come on, man. That's a dirty twenty. That's okay. Better. He's going to do seven damage. Eleven damage. How much health does this guy have? Okay. And he needs to make a con save, and he's going for a 16 or higher, so he needs a 14 on the dice. He falls. Um, he so crumbles cute. into dust. Alar breathes a very exhausted sigh of relief. Uh, that was his action. As a bonus action, he's going to give a bardic to Fenrir. This it. isn't Taylor. <laughs> a you, <a>. son. <laughs> uh, and that is a D10. D10 on in a attack rolls and pretty much code. anything but damage, right? Bardic, you can use on anything. Yeah. Attack, saving yeah. throw, skill check, whatever you want. Alright. Is no uh, Yes, and it is now your turn. Right. Kill it. Which one? Either one. Three. All of them. Me I'll, too. Whatever it takes. I'll hit that one first. Okay. How long does your sensor last, or is that just like a one round thing? It's a minute. Yeah, they take 10 damage. Oh, yeah. It's uh, D4 healing. Oh. 
Before. Uh, I get three healing. Okay. And they take, they take some damage, right? They take three yeah. damage. Hell yeah. And Fuck. I think technically, Corin, you're also within ten feet, so you get three healing. Hell yeah. Like you needed it. We're back up to fifty-four, babies. <laughs> you you were never in danger. I absolutely <laughs> love just everyone else's conditions and then fucking Corin. Everyone oh, else is God. limping, crawling at the earth, dragging ourselves forward, and Corin's just like, Woo, good workout, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling fast. Audio. Anyone else feeling fast? I'm feeling kind of fast. <laughs> You're so speedy today, Jesus. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Fenrir, take your take your swings. There are two half dragonborn undead remaining. First one is going to be a twenty-four. Twenty-four does hit. So this is number six. Yeah. Uh, he's gone. Doesn't matter. Fuck you. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh. Turn to the other one and attack him. Go for it. This time, dump a ninth little smite into this <laughs> Yeah, fuck him up. I think he'll kill Aralar for good measure. <laughs> and then bring him back as a thrall? Sure. Yeah. Oh my god. You cannot adopt that man. Without Aylar, Lorazus would be dead. And therefore, Duchess and Alar would also oh, be dead. <laughs> first, we can't ride this woman. Now we can't adopt this man. All right, Fig. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. All the rules I provide. She just won't let us have any fun. So that's a 22. 22 okay, hits. Alar's going to have all the fun in the other campaign. Yeah, I am. I'm going to... Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Why is the base non-radiant stuff rolling low. I'm going to use a spell slot. You said you're going to save a spell slot? No, I'm going to use a spell slot. Oh, I heard save. I was about to be like, okay, fuck, so that... why? <laughs> Can we just let that one just be done with this? <laughs> <laughs> you guys roll. never know. That's shitty rolls on the damage for just the base. That is seven bludgeoning and one radiant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Wow, that is atrocious. So you got your 3d8 coming up now. Yep. Fucking this. leaning on that shit hard. Yeah. Oh. You got this. You got this. You got this. Yeah. So far, that's good. Right. So plus extra... Uh, that is 30 radiant damage. <laughs> He's so dead. Just so fucking dead. No undead fortitude for you, bitch. Even if it, well, if it weren't radiant, it wouldn't be doubled, but Jesus. Uh, yeah, it would have been bad. No <laughs> better DC 35, even without the doubling of the damage. But, uh, yes. So, the last dragonborn undead crumbles to dust, and at this point, um, the fog is about chest to shoulder high on most of you. Duchess herself can probably stand straight up and be completely obscured by the fog. Um, so you can probably see the most of Lorazis, but yeah, the fog has continued to thicken and creeped up and we will stop right here and hopefully future Philip will remember how to segue into what happens next. But uh, Everyone, have a good night. Thanks for staying later. Uh, <laughs> we we definitely went over tonight, but um, have a have a good night. I'll see y'all next week.
See you next right. week. Later, guys. Bye. Bye.